Boom. Hello, hey, everybody. Oh, hi. Somebody What's got up? somebody got cut off. Like this. <laughs> was what? that supposed to be a unison thing where y'all like joined me and like y'all like panicked? <laughs> <laughs> I got, I got scared. I got scared. Uh, I abort, 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 abort. Uh, I didn't do anything. So, <laughs> yeah. Fair enough. Well, here. welcome everyone to episode 14 of Do Do the Dragon and Dragon. And dead pseudo dragon. There are no more pseudo dragons. And dead dragons. Oh, oh that was a but baby I... dragon. It was not I mean, a pseudo dragon. I mean, dragon. We also killed Pepper, so like you know. We we didn't do anything. No we caused Pepper to get killed. I no did not do anything. Any. <laughs> I did not. You were just chilling. Anyway, we will get I into that. Think, but it dragon. was not worse fault. But anyway, my name is Jacob. Do keep Jacob on the internet. Um, I'm your host and dungeon master for this little show um, of Duval and Dragons, which um, still 14 episodes in is not real to me at all. So uh, <laughs> keep on dreaming, baby. It's so real. Uh, so it is. So, don't tell me. Uh, so <laughs> kicking it off with uh, our beloved cast of beautiful characters, both in and out of characters. Um, starting off with the official cartographer of Jewel and Dragons, Jess, tell the people who you are and who you're playing. Oh, hi, guys, gals, and non-binary pals. I'm Jess, a.k.a. Freckle Sketches everywhere, mostly Twitter and Instagram. Uh, the official cartographer of Duval and Dragons, and I'm playing Zakria Rashi, our fire genasi paladin, the leader, and apparently the Valentine of sweet, sweet Devon. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> oh boy, we will see how that mach that mach uh, machinations. Nope, that's not the word. How that resolves itself. Speaking of that, Jeremy, why don't you go next? Hi everybody, I'm Jeremy, better known as Darth and Trary, all over the internet. I will be playing Devin Corette, the human rogue. Uh, the socially awkward uh, <laughs> human rogue, who has just confessed his feelings to the leader. The leader. Huh? Alright, I got it. Oh my lord. <laughs> <laughs> As the counter begins. Uh, Love it. Then, next up. Love it. Next up. Chris. Well, everybody, I am Chris. You can find me on the internet at Chris N uh, and all, you know, signal boosting everywhere else. Uh, I'll be playing Satur Thunderfinder, the half orc barbarian who is really confused at the moment because he just lost one of his friends. Poor Sue, wherever she may be. Dude, Jarek's got so big, though. Yeah, Mary just, like, got monstrous. She's thick. Indeed. Fenway. Hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Fenway Jones, also known as Fenway the Team DM on Twitter and Jasper's Game Day on all of the social media. Uh, and I will be playing Worst Greet, the lovable um, Aarakocra monk uh, who just lost her baby dragon and has now been traumatized three times in the span of 14 sessions. Uh, twice at the same session. Uh, you know, fun times. Uh, and uh, is with her best friend Rilo, who is, was O'Lear and now is Rilo again. Yeah. Oh, I forgot the art. That part is in game. It's It's been like a week, less than a week. So that's great. Uh, it's fine. Last, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Fire brimstone behind us. Um, <laughs> last, certainly not least, the guy who lets us do this every other week. Um, Rilo and Orlier, Maddie. Hi, um, I'm Maddie, and I play, um, well, yeah, he's Rilo again. Uh, Rilo Rumblebelly, who's a petitfling, um, warlock, sorcerer, something, sourcelock, that's the word, that's the word, sourcelock, I guess, is the word I came up with. Um, who's just here to... Oh no. We're back in Lobra. Oh. Uh. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> like Swiper. 
I'm sad now. Okay. So with that, let's get into the recap. Previously, on Two Fallen Dragons, Peacekeepers of Yuvalia decided to commit to leaving the kingdom. <laughs> away from the alleged machinations of King Jabob, away from the CNBC, this alleged thieves guild after them from a propaganda and maybe violent perspective. Lear revealed himself as this darker version of Raylo, revealing this new, darker, true form, if you will, revealing who he's always been, perhaps. The party continued south over the Matthews Bridge, getting directions, meeting a caravan of gnolls that they didn't really trust were on the up and up, making their way into the desert that is in the middle of the northern portion of this southern land. During their arrest, Satir was interrupted by a vision of his past, given an unbelievable opportunity to save Mary, Sue, or her, or choosing to abstain entirely. He chose Sue, and in a flash, one of his spell axes seemed to disappear. In its place, a much larger and bigger one, capable of a bit more destruction, perhaps. While O'Lear discussed the death of Pepper with his new familiar name, Salt, this imp, he was attacked by this enormous gargantuan blue lightning lizard, eight feet, and the party did battle with it. O'Lear was swallowed and Salt was quickly dismissed from his mortal coil. But that wasn't all. Alvisium, the black dragon wormling, child of Kipio, the bringer of death, a large green dragon currently living in the volume forest, lay slain. Consequences of that will be determined. The party came together to remind Rolir, no, Rilo, that they accept him, no matter what his past looks like. The Kuri and Devon walk over to the slain Bakir, and Devon then decides at that moment that it was time to tell Zakria how he feels about her. And they still have at least a day and a half before any sense of civilization on their way to their first stop in Lindra, the city of Okeechobee. Not civilization there, no. And um, an important part missed from from recap is that Wur and Rilo are sitting there eating popcorn um, and candy the entire time, watching all. They're like two feet away, so it's not like they're giving them any room. We're just, of course not. <laughs> no, no, the the most important part that was missed through that was Zakria slept through the whole battle. <laughs> oh yeah, that too. <laughs> That's. Zakria was revealed to be a, a bit of a heavy sleeper. Heavy sleeper. Very true. Very true. Challenge accepted. But, Devin and Zakria, as you are sitting with the slain Bahir, the typically yellowed or beige sand um, covered in this bluish, acrid blood. What are you guys doing? Uh... If I recall, Zakria got a pretty good check to try to grab some of the chitinous material off of this thing to see if she can make it into something special wherever they're going. She started rubbing salt into all of it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, oh, so covered in viscera, uh, she's just kind of looking at Devin. After she did, she did give her response. She did kind of thank you. I'll need some time to think about it. Um, but she, it's still one of those. She's going to now, before she was focused, now she's very hyper focused in unrubbing the salt into this thing to make sure it keeps while they travel. Like she's very deliberately not looking at anybody anymore. <laughs> I, I think Devin kind of feels like the tension of the situation. He realizes that he realizes that now that the the dragonling the the wormling is dead, um, that there is a new sense of urgency, and that maybe he should excuse himself and go make sure that there's nothing else sneaking about wanting to eat them, um. So he'll look at Zakria and he'll be like, I'm going to do a bit of scouting before uh, 
we get on the road. Yeah. Um, take, take Melora, the lizard. Take my lizard. She'll probably uh, get through the sand better than a horse. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, sure, yeah. Um, yeah. I'll, uh, um, I'll be back shortly. Okay. And he never once, like, looks at her as he's, as he's speaking to her. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and you kind of spin out, um, coming out from underneath the sand dune where this um, battle takes place, oh, having to um, do a bit of that sort of upper latitude um, step up um, for a bit and run right into um, <laughs> where and Ryla. Uh, That's so sweet. She offered oh you her steed. Not, not a word about this right now. It uh, probably wasn't the right time to, to say anything. I just... I'll be back. I'm going to go check, make sure nothing else is going to try to do this. Uh, and he hastily makes his way away from her and Rilo. When's it the right time to say anything? He does not acknowledge. He just continues to walk on. Oh, um, so. yeah. Oh. No. So, Rilo, what are you, what are you, what are you doing, sitting, snacking? Um, confused about everything. Everything. Oh my god. What are we doing? I don't even remember. Like, yeah. And did that really just happen? It's like. Are mom and dad getting back together? What? Huh? What? 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 Back to... No! Um... It was a... Uh, a joke. I don't know. I'm glad somebody thinks this is funny. I don't think it's funny, but I do think it's completely um, weird because, I don't know, like, every time somebody says that to somebody, like, at least in my experience, um, somebody either ends up dead or divorced. Well, frankly, you have to be married to divorce, and none of us are going to end up dead. What? Uh, wait. Yet. And nobody's That's a little fast. Nobody's dead yet. Um, <laughs> but like. <laughs> We've got a lot of desert to traverse here, and um, that is, you know, oh, this is gonna be rough. <laughs> oh, hey, hey, Rilo, where'd Devin go? Um, he went up to scout. Um, he's Using the Kree's lizard. <laughs> <laughs> alone again? Uh, well, he <laughs> works better alone because we're very noisy. Except for <laughs> Whir. Whir. Whir can be and quiet. He's avoiding someone. What? Avoiding? He's avoiding, yeah. Uh, what? Goodness. I don't even Malora know what that means. Me. Melora's your lizard, and she's with Devin right now. Melora, uh, lizard was named for the... No, Melora. Not gonna get into it now. Hey, Hold on. Can we just am, get out of the heat? Am I proficient in a religion? We're in the desert. That? You're hot. Hey, that's my point. Is is can we go to the city? Oh, uh, we can go. 
It's going to take a while. But it's probably still going to be hot. Mm. Yes. Likely for a good long while. Welcome to Lobra. I'm quite comfortable, actually. Yeah, me too. Except I'm not. Care. Because it's Lobra. Hmm. Hollow bones make it a lot easier to stay cool. Oh, that would. Oh. Wow. Wait, what? Hollow. Word. Hollow bones? But if they're hollow, then wouldn't they why? Why? sink or something? No, that's not how bones work. Oh, okay. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Sink in what? <laughs> um, your body? I don't know. Um, Can you please help me get some of this into the wagon? I am proficient in religion. Yeah, Malors are God, and... Uh, <laughs> Hey, I can help you. Damn it, Maddie. <laughs> that is a perfect place for us to cut to Devin. <laughs> Devin, as you, uh, you take Melora, Melora um, is agreeable. Um, and, you know, the you actually head up um, to the top of the dune, essentially from um, where you sort of all kind of came in and sunk down into. Um, go ahead and make a perception check. Jacob. Yes. Since I have a telepathic connection with Melora and uh, Devin isn't going very far, um, can I speak to her telepathically just to see, like, see if she can get a gauge for how Devin is feeling? Um, give me one second. I'm checking some of my volume situation. Sure, so sure, sure. I, I rolled a 21, and I'd like to think the whole time Devin is riding Melora across the dune, he's like having a conversation with Melora. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! It, like it's like it's like Melora's like like, it, like the host from the Newlywed Game or something. Um, hold on one second. I'm just checking my <laughs> audio because apparently I am quiet which is amazing to me well you were um, a little quieter than everybody else um us but you've been talking in a um a, a, a regular yeah a regular tone instead of like <laughs> my, in, in my jacob tone <laughs> it, instead of cap lock tone <laughs> I, have, I have i have a thing you guys. um okay yeah, I mean, it looks fine oh you know what let me i didn't check my Oh, let me turn down the music too. Anyway, um, so as I figured that the fuck out. Um, so um, we'll, we'll get we'll get back to the the um the telepathic situation in a second. What would you roll, Devin? Twenty one. Twenty one. So the person you notice actually is as you kind of spin spin around with uh, with Melora. Um, there is this. Oh, there we go. I think that might be better. Um, there's this uh, really strange thing that happens where you actually see the outskirts of the city, but only when you get up to the top of the dune. The minute you exit and go down, it's just desert. Um, but also, at the same time, don't really see anything dangerous, so to speak. I guess you could say. So, Melora, I, I know she named you after her her goddess, but I, I kind of like open my my mouth and kind of put my foot in it. Um, I, I'm kind of thinking it might have been better if you'd eaten me when we first met, because um, it's like gonna be like really weird now. Um, because this is, like, the first time I've ever, like, really liked someone. Like, my sister, uh, Alundra, she, she used to tell me that, that when you, you like somebody, you just know. And I, I've kind of known her for a while, and I've been wanting to tell Zakria, but, um, 
yeah, I told her, and it's like really weird now. And she's like, she's the as leader. As you're walking, oh, whoops. Melora stops, I'm and like, like the, the her like leathery head spins up around to look at you, and it's <sighs> very much even at a base level. There is this like facial expression of seriously. <laughs> And then, like, you know, like the, the, the tongue out emoji. That's kind of what's happening right now. Yeah, I should just shut up. <laughs> now, Zakaria, what were you? What were you? What were you uh, communicating? She was just trying to, like, just tap a little bit into Melora's head, like, "Hey, please keep a good lookout. I don't mean to bother you, but I really need." to see how you feel Devin feels at the moment. The first, the, if, a, if a lizard could sigh and express <laughs> to you that it has a headache. <laughs> but I feel like the, it's got the, you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, this is the the, the 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 girlfriend that really doesn't want to be the wingman. <laughs> but like, That's I exactly girl, how I saw her. Need, like, it's perfect. I'm going like, to need, need like a three bottles of wine after this. That's kind of where we're headed. Yeah. A hundred percent. Yeah. So that, that's the gist of what you get from the communication. <laughs> Noted. And um, Devin, I'd like you to roll a D8 for me. I'm in danger. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Duval and Dragons. <laughs> Where Devin is always in danger. Seven. Seven. Okay. That's interesting. I gotta roll something really fast. I hate when he says that's interesting. That never bodes well. <laughs> that, <No>. Yeah. <laughs> remember, remember when Rilo told you that when people say that, tell other people that kind of stuff, that they either end up divorced or dead. I'm probably yeah. gonna end up dead. <laughs> yep. Um, I feel like well, Melora is like Hermione when Ron and Harry in Harry Potter are arguing, <laughs> and she's oh, like, "I'm yeah. not an owl." Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> you actually uh so near the the top off end so you still see the since you're at the top of the dune you still see the city off to directly to the um in this case would be to the east but you're facing it directly and um but the shape that you guys saw earlier of this o oasis now appears to be very far away, but you also see the outline of what looks to be some sort of um, statues. Um, it's hard to see, but it does stand out um, from the from the sand. About five of them. But this, it's still several, you know, thousand feet away. That's what you depict outside of um, many, many, many hills and um, of sand. Yes, we should probably head back now. Oh! <laughs> and you all head down back into the sand dune. So Satir, as you are uh, sort of continuing to help with um, setting up and finishing off of the um, remains of this uh, of this Bahir and get ready for um, the day's travel, mm -hmm. is there anything that you'd like to do? Hmm. I would say that I would be a little preoccupied with everything that's been going on and 
puzzled oh. at going off the idea that we were supposed to stay together and now that we're not I'd be looking at Sahir and going so I thought we were supposed to stay together what happened <gasps> the buddy system yay I have a telepathic link to Melora he took Melora I but if he's farther <sighs> away that we can get to well, isn't that a bad thing sure but uh, wait, is Melora, does Melora, where does Melora count as like a, uh, a buddy? Um. I mean, maybe? I mean, I guess, I guess she's a buddy, but she not, fight. but she's not us. Well, I, yeah. Uh, hmm. I would, no offense. So here, I'd only count her as a half. Hmm. Fair enough. Farts. She would... What? Half farts? What? Well, I... we need to we need a way to scout ahead. Mm-hmm. Some way, any way. I, I think it'd be it would have been better for him to go with at least another one of us as well. Um, maybe Weir could have been up in the air with, as an aerial with, but I... Uh, I was a bit distracted. I well, there's a, it was a big old lizard that just attacked us. Of course we're all a little distracted, but, um... Well, not necessarily by that. By a couple of different things. I had a song I was singing, and uh, I lost my baby dragon. Um, uh, Satur... Uh, Satir, Satir, where's, where's Sue? I, yeah, that, that's another thing that I'm a little distracted about at the moment myself. Um, what you do to her? I don't know. And what happened to Mary? And why is Bert so big? Oh my you God. Don't you, don't see, you don't see Bert. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I forgot. But the the hat's big. The hat's bigger. Yeah, Yeah, the hat's a lot bigger. So, like, I just refer to Bert as the hat, or the hat as Bert. And (laughs) Sid. Yeah. I, um, I don't know. It's a, uh, in the new, uh, and I show the head head of Axe, and I go, I also don't know what this is. I don't know. We're all distracted by a lot of things at the moment. Myself included. Mm -hmm. I did sleep through that entire encounter. (laughs) You what now? I was exhausted. Yeah, uh, she slept through you getting swallowed. You mean I was in that belly that long because you were asleep? Nobody woke me up. We tried. Why didn't anybody wake up the leader? Don't blame me. I was focused on the baby dragon getting killed. I thought she would have woke up from being struck by lightning. Uh, You know, one would hope, right? She's uh, just a heavy sleeper. I will remember that for the next incursion of a giant lizard. Anyway, let's finish getting this on the wagon so we can get moving before another one comes. Hmm. I feel like we need note. to test that. Oh, this test could be what? Great. I don't I... want to be struck by another lightning bolt. Oh no, not <laughs> that! We're talking about how heavy a sleeper Zakria is. Oh, I would be I... careful with that if I were you. I wonder if we could stick candy to her face. I'd be very careful with that if I were you. I wasn't. I can fly, and you can't. I wasn't planning anything like that Not yet. Um, but you know, shenanigans. Huh. <laughs> 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 I will take what you said to turn a note next time. We will keep to a better buddy system. Um, that said, while we travel, were do you mind? continuing keeping to the skies and keeping lookout you have better 
uh, you would have a better vantage point across the dunes. Sure. Um, where is uh, the, cor the corpse of Alvisian still on your shoulder? No, I buried it. Oh. And then I have a little, I used, I found a stone and I like used my talent to uh, carve Alvisian into it and I made a little headstone for it. Okay. I don't know how I feel about this. Hmm. I want to cry, but I don't want to cry. That's going to be a problem later. We all know it. I, that's going to be a very I don't know if I want to say big problem or little problem it'll be a problem I, it's, it's a big problem did you see how many dragons there were oh wait no you weren't there it was just Rilo, Zakria and I there were a lot of dragons and there then was they indeed came, and she let me pick a baby dragon and then it got killed and now I'm sad Well, there's no way it was our fault that that happened. I don't... I can't justify it that way, at least, no matter how I look at it. Well, that, do that doesn't You can't mean be that angry that it's fragile. I don't think it'll matter that much once it happens. Once we get back. We need think... to keep moving. <laughs> yes. We can talk on the way. Mm-hmm. Devin, anything you wanted to do before head exiting uh, or <laughs> getting travel? No, he he's. You said he made it back, right? Mm -hmm. uh, he's very quiet. He doesn't look at Zakaria. Um, he exits uh, Laura and climbs on his horse, um, and he'll look at Sator and he'll be like, "I'm gonna." Right a little ahead of us. That way, if something tries to ambush us, they think it's just me. But it's it's enough distance you guys can get to me. I, I need some time to think. Um. N no. I'd like I'd like for us all to stay together, if you don't mind. Hmm. Hmm. You're you're the leader. Um, whatever you say, and he does not look at her at all. Thank you. Okay. Oh, okay. Rilo, do you want to ride with me? Um, I would. Okay. Just fly low if you can. Stay close. Oh, Rilo, yeah. Rilo, there were there were five statues, and he kind of points off in the direction where they would he would remember remember them being mm -hmm. uh what are they do you know do i know you have no idea um statues i don't know what, you're what? yeah uh... in between us well not in between us and the city but like before we get to the city and he kind of gives a general direction of where they are. There were five statues uh, just out in the desert. Very tall, by the way. Very, Very tall. tall. Um, yeah, no. No. Like, no. Um, there would... No. I mean... M maybe I have, have something... I've been gone for some time, but... Um, I don't know if they could erect five statues in the time that I've been gone, and why would they do that in the middle of the desert? Because that's so weird. Um, I don't know if those are statues. I would proceed with caution. Well, it's off the beaten path. I just thought if you knew what they were... I don't. I don't know. I don't know. Um, it's probably something that's gonna want to kill us. Cause that's just that's Lobra. It just wants to eat your soul. 
Devin kind of chuckles at that and climbs on his horse. So, who, uh, how's the marching order? I know, obviously, we're in Rilo, we're in the sky. Um, Devin's on Melora. Um, no, Devin got on his horse. Yeah, I got on my horse. Zakria will probably be on Melora. Satir, you're on the cart? Correct. Okay. Who's leading the charge? I don't know why I asked, but I'm asking anyway. Uh, actually, Devin falls to the back of the caravan. So he puts the wagon between him and Zakria. Jesus. <laughs> yeah, Zakria would be up front. I'm probably up front, but I'm above everyone else. So I guess I've become the new scout, but I'm only like I'm 10 only... feet ahead. <laughs> yeah, sure. I'm only like 10 uh, feet ahead, so. Sure. Yeah, no, no worries. Um, so so, you, so we're, you're, you're actually ahead of everybody. Okay. So in that case, I want you to roll a d10 for me. Oh, goodness. I got an eight. Eight. Okay. So, as you all begin to um, travel forward, um, the desert now that you've been here is beginning to uh, show itself um, in the heat. Um, it is decently uncomfortable for those of you, um, unless you're like someone that is resistant to fire damage, and yeah, it's fine. Uh, so that's you know <laughs> some of you. Anyway, um, as you all continue on, the um, the actual area begins to get a bit bumpy. Ba -boom, ba -boom, ba -boom. Um, still able to be traveled on um, so far, um, and about three and a half, four hours of travel. Um, but those of you that are not resistant to fire, the heat is starting to get to you. Um, if you are exposed to the elements, which I think is everybody. Um, so if you're not resistant to fire, I'd love for you to give me a constitution saving throw, please. Fire! Everybody within 15 feet of me gets a plus four. Mm, how close would you be to the cart then? Um... Not too far ahead, since I'd like everybody to stay close. I'd say within, I'd say within that fifteen feet, knowing how hot it is. I appreciate that. Fifteen. I got an eighteen. Okay. That's fifteen <laughs> that with Zakria's aura. I didn't okay. need it, but <laughs> so with the with the aura, it'd be twenty-eight. Okay. Jesus. Damn! Um, it's cold. It's so cold. <laughs> All that time on the sea. You're still on the boat, dog. Uh, no, so um, everybody uh, is fine. Um, and another few hours or so go by, and um, Devin, and actually everybody now that he's pointed it out, um, you get to see the, the those large statues get bigger and bigger and bigger. As um, you continue to sure, what's up? Uh, so, um, how how high in the sky are we? Um, flying, uh, were ten feet, right? Or no, we're flying ten now? feet in front, probably thirty feet up. Okay. Um. So let me see. Oh, I don't have that one. I don't have my thing. Um, can we do a flyby, Zakria? Um, sure. I need a, I need a tapper on the shoulder. We can find extra for a minute. And, uh, cause I don't know, we're, those statues are getting closer and I get to use this, this, um, this spell once per day. So I should use it, um, and give it to someone that could really benefit from it as our leader um oh god i got right in the middle of my thing okay um and <laughs> as we fly by i tap zakria on the shoulder right as i finish casting 
gift of alacrity. Oh, snap! Cool! Um, and that is essentially, you get a d8 to add to your initiative rolls for the next eight hours. And Maddie, we should be at five, because I've called her the leader twice. Oh, right. Oh, man, I'm flacking. Okay. <laughs> anyway, so um, as you all continue on for another uh, few hours, um, as those statues on the right get bigger and bigger and bigger, and then especially you, Worf, Street, and Rilo, you realize immediately, like, as you get closer, that the statues themselves are so big that they, like, you, the, the heads of them, now that you're getting closer, are about the size of where you guys are in the air. And as you get closer and closer, the first thing that you notice is that the heads are seemingly, they, there's not like bushels of hair or anything. Um, they're very slit uh, kind of back, it looks like. Make perception checks, everybody. Okay. Uh, oh, where's my thing? Okay, what is that? 11. Ooh, okay. 23. Nine. 22. Two, three. Okay. Four. I'm sorry, what are we rolling? I got. Uh, yeah, you're fine. Perception. Yeah, perception. Okay. 12. 12. Okay. So, Devin is here. And there's kind of um, an immediate reconciliation of what this is. The reason why things are slipped back is that there is no hair. Because as you see, there are small bumps up at the top. And then you see that there's a forked tongue out from the other side. And then you see what appear to be eyes, very large ones. You recognize them immediately as Yon statues of Yanti. Mm. The last time you saw Yanti was in the cathedral, the First Baptist Church. Oh, yeah. Hey, those look like um, the snake people that we saw at the uh, church. That were Yon, um, Yon, Yon. Hey, Yon that's the that's the word. Hey, that, th thank you. What would I know? Would I know anything about that? Make a history check. Okay. Um, <laughs> if we're, if it's like um referring to something that well, to we be saw, fair, you don't see this though. So actually, okay, we'll hold off on that. Cool. Um, so, so Satir and and Devin, the other piece of this with a. 22 and 23 is now that you're closer and you look at the sand and there's this not like almost like discoloration but it's because of there's a kind of a soft wind and you see this like small dust cloud come up and you realize that underneath these statues is two small um beige looking tents incredibly difficult to see you'd only get this with like a 21 plus um from there are they under the um in, in like the center of the the statues or are they, they okay damn ryan much love my dude yeah thank you ryan so so korea um there are some tents at the base of the statue. Do we want to investigate? It's up to you. Hmm. I mean, is it something we need to stop for? I mean, do we want to just see if they need help, any supplies, trade, or? We don't have much to trade with. 
That is I'm, true. You we're kind of that. on it. I'm sorry. You have that chitin that... I mean, it'd probably go for a pretty penny. Um, I don't it know could. If, I don't know if Duvalian currency is going to do us much good down here. I don't think so. We do have that hide in the water. Um, I was hoping to make it into something, some good material. I uh, maybe new armor, considering everything that's happened. I don't really feel comfortable in my usual garb anymore. Um. Well, then maybe we don't stop. We just keep going. Considering we're also in a time crunch with that dragon, I think we should just, if they're here by the time we come back, we'll we'll investigate then. But we should keep going. Maybe just do a merry meet, merry part as we go by. That could yeah. work. Unless. No, let's let's, let's keep going. You, you're the leader. You're making the right choices. So. Okay, I heard that one. And I think it's at this point that he kind of, it's the first time since they started riding that he actually like meets your eyes. Okay, <laughs> so. You guys are heading that way. I um, think we're we're gonna keep traveling toward the city. I believe we're okay, gonna yeah. come back okay. and visit. Cool. Sure. Yes. Sure. Sure. Um, how far away from from it are you trying to stay? Um, as far as possible. <laughs> okay. As far as possible without making like sudden like we're going over that way don't worry about it kind yeah of like, without like, purposefully crossing the street type of levels like, <laughs> whole, totally makes as sense. long as it doesn't put us out of the way of the city we're trying to get to yep absolutely so you continue on, um, passing by these two tents um and um you continue on and the two tents still kind of furring in the it's not a word i just made it up um uh, in the in the wind um there's a word now it sure is um so you continue on for another another few hours or so um as uh the, so far the first eight hours or so of your journey is uh fairly uneventful um outside of you know, some weird statues in a couple tents. Now, as the dusk is about to hit at this point, um, I'd love for everyone to give me another perception check, please. My dice hate me today. I did a lot better on that one. Oh, natural 20 for a 21. Dang. Nice. I did not do that well, but I got a 17. I wrote a natural one, but with my plus <laughs> seven, it's an eight. I, I, I also think... got a powerful eight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Strong. It, it, powerful it, it, eight. It's the whole Zakria. Devin looks at Zakria and he Zakria kind of like looks over and he sees her looking and he looks down. Yeah, we're we're doing the same thing, Sturge. I'm like, oh shit. <laughs> she, she's looking. Sit here, what'd you roll? Uh, I believe it was a uh you also oh, got I'm, eight. an eight, yeah. Ah, strong eights. Uh, yeah. what about you were? I got a seventeen. Seventeen. Okay. So so were you it's it's tough because you guys have hit the sort of a kind of a straight path now, and you kind of are hitting that. You know how like when the sun hits and it looks to be like that watery stuff in front of you, that is continuing on and on for as far as the eye can see. Um, but in that, even you see a 
just barely two sh two shapes. You think humanoid looking, but it is super far away. Rilo, however, you actually see um, that the actual color of these humanoids looks to be some sort of purple ish uh -huh. and you can kind of get the outline of what as you kind of see the wind and what affects whatever this is uh -huh. whatever these two things are and they are um sort of like almost like not hoodies but like um cows yeah and and then you actually see behind that that there's actually two more right behind so four purple dudes or dudes and they have cows as this is what Rilo's saying to Whir. What? I? You? Wow, nice. I, I only saw the two shaping thingies. Yeah, they're... Um, I don't know. A really weird um amount of vision today. I, I don't normally have, you know, because I'm not very perceptive. I mean... I don't know. Maybe it's you getting used to Rilo again. I don't know. Um, but that's concerning. Um, does that you sound familiar at all? Purple people? Now make a history check. Okay. Let's face nature. Let's do, let's do nature. Let's do okay. Uh, let me see. What am I? Oh, yeah. I'm not proficient either, so... That's cool. Um, oh, yeah, I got a five. Ooh, yeah. You have no idea. Big fat five. Okay. Big five. Strong as fuck. Strong five. Strong five. <laughs> okay. Uh, huh. Just, you're, you're like, you're worried to poo. Think, 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 think. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know. Nope, 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 nope. I've been <laughs> gone a while. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think. Uh, I don't should this, would this be something we tell them, or do we keep letting them be awkward around each other and just watch that instead? Oh no, no, no! We should probably go down and and tell them and stuff because that's kind of uh, concerning, and it's getting late, right? Like you know. I don't know. I don't We're know. at dusk. Oh yeah, it's getting it's getting dark, so we should tell them. Um, yeah, let's 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 go down. Um. I fly like right next to Zakria. Okay. Um, like and get right up in her face. Mm. Hey Zakria. Like I'm uh... not a good whisperer. Like it's probably more shouting than it is whispering. <laughs> hey! <laughs> hey you guys! <laughs> Hello. Oh, wow. There's purple people up ahead. Um like at least four. They look like humanoid looking things. He says they're purple. They have cows, and cows or cowls. Cows. <laughs> cows. No, no, no cows. No cows. I don't think. Okay. Oh, we, we haven't seen any cows yet. <laughs> um, you're, cows would be a weird gonna... desert animal. You're not going to see cows in the you desert. You don't know that. I Jacob. mean, this is Lobra. You, you could that? see all sorts of things. Um, you know. Maybe they're camel cows. Does this ring a bell to Devon, considering he's made excursions into Lobra during the Owls. war? It comes to mind to you immediately. But not just your distant war past, but something a little bit more frequent. The clothing that the Yanti were wearing um, in the cathedral had around their necks 
something fairly purpley. Fairly purpley. Yanti. Yan. Bless you. One. Yan, what? Yanti. The, uh, the half human, half snake people, or mostly snake people. Oh. Um, depending on which version you come across. Um, oh, the ones that we saw in the cathedral. Oh yeah. my god, they're so stuck up. Oh. That's a Maybe. generalization. They think they're so much better than everyone. Lots of people do. I don't know. I'm not a fan. No, you're not. You're a Rilo. Oh, yeah. I... I don't like stick up people. That's fair, but don't make broad generalizations. All right. You're right. Uh... We'll see how they are first if we pass them by. Do you want us to stay up there? Or do you want us to stay down here? Well, we know they're coming. Um, I, they can probably also know they're coming. I, they probably do. Yes. Well, there's no need to set up an ambush before we know what's going on. It's not even exactly our territory, so... I prefer we not fight any of the locals, if possible. Yeah, let's let's just keep together for now, and when we pass them by, you can return to the skies, if you don't mind. Okay. Also, hasn't we already fought some of well, one of the locals? I, I don't know. really can consider that a local, to be I honest. I think they would have fought other locals as well. They also could have been a transplant or um, something, you know. Um, beasties are beasties, whatever they be. Yeah. Um, also, uh, when we run into people, um, you've never met anyone named O'Lear, okay? Who? Exactly. That right. name is dead. There's like Pat Rilo on the head. You got it. I You're all just... having this conversation. Sakria. A familiar voice enters in your mind. A familiar reptilian one. Good evening. I haven't heard back from my child in a while. How are you doing? Um, now, from what Zakria knows about spellcasting, does she have to speak out loud to respond to the dragon? Or... Could she just do so telepathically? You can do it telepathically. Okay. Um, telepathically, she's going to try to sound as harrowed and panicked as possible. But she's going to reply with, we were attacked. They didn't make it. We did our best. She's going to reply with complete honesty, but like try to try to essentially persuade the dragon into assuming that. <laughs> yeah, the persuade the dragon into assuming that it wasn't their fault. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. She's going. She's going to tell the complete truth, but just make sure it was like harrowing enough. It's a long, long. That is most unfortunate. Good thing I have more where that came from. Where are you? I'll send a new one on by. Again, she's going to be as honest as possible. She's going to... Uh, 
if she can sh- like she doesn't know if she can share visions but she's just going to scan her surroundings look at the statues look at the city on the horizon and just like we're heading to we're we're heading into the kingdom of lobra Heading in, that would mean you're nearing the city of Okeechobee. Let me know when you get there. Actually, I'll message you in about, say, a day or two. You let me know where you're shacked up, and I'll have I'll have someone come by. That would be very much appreciated. You are benevolent. No, dear. I'm just resourceful. Just gonna thank it again. And wait like wait like an hour before she opens up her mouth to say anything to anybody to make sure that the dragon yeah, can't hear no, anything. There's no response. So as you, are you guys continuing on, or are you stopping? Uh, did Zakria show any emotion after being contacted by this dragon? Take an insight check. Zakria's pretty used to bottling that shit up. Yeah. Uh, is there a would way it... I can contest that? Well, but yeah. wouldn't it be a disadvantage because she and I are acting awkward toward one another? So she would be really hard to read. I mean, I if she can that, get lower than a but... four... <laughs> so um anyway so this is you're not you're not lying so i'm gonna say it's more of a persuasion check for you um you're it's it's a it's a little if half and half but we'll, we'll go with that so you can beat a four i really hope she gets a three Really My persuasion's a plus seven. Like, <laughs> oh, so then, it doesn't, roll, yeah, go ahead and roll it. Don't roll a one. There we go. That's a no, nine plus a seven. Okay. Like it's so yeah. Focus is what you gather from Zakria's facial expression. Pretty normal. Yeah. So. Mm. As the two or four of these figures begin to disappear as the night begins to darken, you all continue on and on straight ahead. Do we want to rest for the night? I know our sleep schedule is a little off at the moment. Um, we might do well to uh, put ourselves back on track to be awake in the morning and unless traveling at night is easier for those of us who can't withstand the heat. Well, it's going to be very difficult to sleep during the day and um, traveling at night, it's going to get really cold. Really, really cold. That's the weird thing about the desert. It's all like crazy hot, but then at night it's like crazy cold. I'd rather some of us be resistant to the heat than none of us be resistant to the cold. Fair enough. So, yeah. Um, that's well, down. very smart. Mm. Oh, okay. Let's see. Uh, hmm. It'd be hey, more dangerous listen. to travel at night as well, wouldn't it? I would think so. Um, does anyone else have devil sight? Have what? What are you talking about, Rido? What is that? Um, it means I can see like pretty far, like even through magical darkness. Like I can see through all oh. darkness. It's a gift from Dave. I hear it's very handy. Yeah. Um, it's got a weird name though, like. Because it's uh, called Devil Sight, but it was gifted to me by an angel, so it's kind of weird. 
I should just like rename it Angel's Sight. I don't see why not. I think it'd go over better if you were going to talk about it. I guess so. Oh, think about Devil that. Sight sound, Devil's Sight sounds infernal, like it's coming from a, a place of evil. Well, I mean, I'm infernal and I came from a place of evil. So, you know, it's okay. I guess I'm just used to that. Fair. Fair enough. Um, but I think but, you're the only one. <laughs> I mean, I'm not the only one, but it is really rare. <laughs> um, uh, oh, yeah. Anyway. Um, find a spot for a, a, a place for us to run the horses and carts up and camp out for the night, I guess. Yeah. Probably off the roads. Um, At least a little bit. Yeah. Probably not too far. No. Mm -hmm. mm. Um, this set up. Oh, go ahead. It's great. Go for it. Were. Yeah, since you've got better eyes in the sky. Do you mind taking Rylo up and doing a circle around to see if we can find somewhere nice to camp? Sure. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So I'll fly up. Any places that I notice that are... Butterfly in the sky. <laughs> um, do you have dark vision? Yes. Make a perception check. Jacob, I'm the only one in the party that can't see in the dark. I got an 11. 11! Can I have advantage because Rilo's there? Hmm. I'm proficient in perception. Sure. Go ahead and roll again. Okay. But I'm dumb stat wisdom, so that's why I only have plus one. <laughs> <laughs> You know, <laughs> the day of giveth, the day of taketh. Uh, so, <laughs> with 15, um, you begin to kind of strafe around, and there are just dunes and dunes and dunes for as far as the eyes can see. Dunes. And the, but of course, there also is the statues with the tents. And knowing where the figures are, um, as you um, sort of strafe over, um, you can now confirm that there are indeed four figures. Um, and they seem to be heading towards the, uh, the cart. Um, as you get... Heading towards our cart? Because mm -hmm. essentially you guys were sort of in a beeline to each other. Yeah, time. we're traveling the same road, right? So yeah. Right. Yeah. So but you you do notice that after a little while these figures seem to have stopped and separated into instead of the two by two into a line of four. And they seem to be kind of having some sort of conversation. Um Nothing that you could gather or hear. Um, and um, and then after about a minute or two, they seem to continue on um, straight forward. Um, I will relay that to um, Zakria. Um, just be like, well, so... Uh, there's a lot of dunes, and then there's the statues in the tents, so we could go there. You know, they seem to have, they seemed to have found a place to stay, so uh -huh. maybe we could too. Also, the weird people, the purple ones with the cowls that are possibly the Oanti that we encountered in the cathedral, um, have now, instead of walking in a two by two, we're now walking in a line of four. Look. Um. Well, they were chatting and stuff, and then they, they're continuing. 
They're on the same road as us, so yeah, we might want to get off the road. We're gonna meet them. They're beelining. That beelining. They're on the same road as us, so they're gonna interact with us at some point. It's not like they're running after us. Maybe yeah, not. But, but a change in formation could mean could mean anything, honestly. Um. Yeah. They could be, I don't know, like football players or something. What's football? Um, it's a game where you don't like toss a goblin around. You know. Oh. Do you use your feet? No, you really don't. Except at the except at, like you know after you score. You do use your feet to, like, kick the thing. I don't know what it's called, though. It sounds like a very odd sport. It's weird. That sounds weird. I mean, we're... We all enjoy it across the lands. It's, it's, it's very popular. Um, I prefer baseball. I don't know what football is. <gasps> oh my god. Don't let anyone hear you say that. The Korea. About five or six years ago, there once was both a baseball and football team. Several of them in the kingdom of Uvalia. Mm. But baseball and football were outlawed because everyone sucked by King Jabin. It wasn't fun anymore. And this is also something that you just know. Um, he got bored of it and uh, off and away it went. Yeah, we don't do football and baseball. Not after... The last incident. Um, yeah, oh. Not in Duvalia. I mean, especially not Duvalia. Whew. It's never one for sports, but I mean, if the king doesn't like it, I probably should. Right? I feel like we should, like, play some football right now. Baseball's better. What? You um, can't play football with as many people. Sure you can. It's called two hand let's, touch. Let us please decide where we're going to go. <laughs> You've always been a better fan of the disc game. I don't even know what that is. Zakria's just gonna start steering the party <laughs> off the road. To okay. uh, she's not We agreed not to go to the tents, but if we're camping, she's figuring we may as well. Because if it's if it especially if it's not out of the way, if stopping at the tents while we're resting is uh, not too far off the path, and we're going to be resting anyway, she's figuring we may as well stop and figure out what's going on with that. So she's going to start heading toward the tents. Maybe. To be fair, though, that was about four hours ago. Oh, okay, so she's just heading a little bit off the path, like probably thirty feet off the path, to okay. make sure everything's clear. Maybe okay. we should wait and see if these purple people, hopefully not purple people eaters, um, are friendly. And then we can see if we should go to the tents. Because if they're purple people eaters, then we don't want to go to the tents. Oh, we're not. We'll go, we'll go on our way back. We're just heading off the road for now. We're not going to be off the road so far we can't see it. Just... Off the road enough where it won't encumber the wagon to be that far off. Hopefully, we don't run into another one of those things that try to eat Rila. Right. I mean, it technically ate me. I am delicious. I'm. I'm not going to get into that conversation with you, Rilo. <laughs> I don't doubt what you say, but I would prefer that no one else almost die. 
Uh, I second that. Yeah, that was a bummer. Yeah, even the rock tried to take you. I know. Um, it's probably all the sweets you eat. I am squishy. I mean, they probably would try and eat me too if I wasn't so, you know, aggressive. And or fast. Mm -hmm. And able to teleport. <laughs> I mean, yeah. out of out of out of game. Theoretically, I could move 180 feet per round if I was dashing. If I could... Monks, man. Monks. Yeah. I love nerf, monks. Are nerf monks, wizards of the coast. Please, nerf monks. No way, no. they're fun. No. Nope. <laughs> um, and Devin. That's all they can as do. this is going on, on, Devin's going to kind of like move up to the lead and kind of like try to get them going off the road. As you do that, Devin, you begin ah. to hear footsteps getting a wee bit closer. How is that? I don't know. And then here they come. <laughs> and then you actually hear. A voice. Top of the evening. Good evening. Hi. And it is Oi. these four. Um, it's a little tough to see in the dark, especially for you. Um, but even in the in the moonlight at this point, now that the moon is completely up at this time, um, there is this. Um, long kind of furrowed looking piece of cloth that kind of covers um, their heads and face um, and um, matching but in different colors kind of this like soft um, beige almost sand colored uh, like robes um, with scimitars to the back um, and um, let me make sure I have my weaponry right Yep, and longbows all like are around. Don't uh, don't need to alarm anyone. Um, just wanted to just be very transparent. Just traveling through. Uh, I you look familiar, actually. Where do I know you from? Who? Who looks familiar? Also, are you purple people eaters? Oh, um, I, I don't think so. And they kind of look at each other. <laughs> <laughs> and we're as happy with that in response. Who looks familiar? Well, I mean, in like the one that's been talking takes their, their head off and it is a snake-like um, face with a long, leathery, uh, fort, uh, forked tongue. I mean, I, I, I don't, is that what you call uh, snake folk where you're from? No. 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 We we I just wanted to make sure you don't eat people. But you're too. Specifically birds. Oh man. Well this is <laughs> this is kind of awkward. Uh yeah. You um war war is fun. <laughs> uh yeah, we what? uh may we may have um kidnapped somebody and you may have uh, sort of assisted. Oh! At yeah. that, at that, Zakria's gonna produce flame, run it through her hair so that everybody uh -huh. can see better. Mm -hmm. uh, just lighting her hair flame, she goes, oh yeah. Oh man, oh yeah, I, yep, I, I know that one. Um, My name I, is I was in, I was in the, the room right before the fake queen, remember? Right, <laughs> right. <laughs> Are you well? Uh, better than I was last year, that's for sure. When you were <laughs> beating my ass. <laughs> Apologies. Hey. We were only doing our jobs. Anyway. Uh, yeah, and hey, us too. And uh, kind of looks at, at, at you, Warscree. Uh, and they, they actually have like their hands kind of like to their sides. Like, you know, no no harm. Um, we just wanted to see who's, who's nearby, uh, just for transparency's sake. Um, she's still holding also, out her hand. Uh, 
Hi. Yeah, about that. And he kind of puts his hands up, and they're snakes. <laughs> Understand. Where, where it's, it's I mean, fine. if you could... They, I mean, yeah, it's, it's totally fine. fine. I, I'm totally cool with the whole... I I'm going to, like, grab his arm and shake his arm instead of the snake head. Like, <laughs> all right, that works. Cool. The Beastmaster uh, shake, yeah. <laughs> yeah. My name's Work. What's your name? Oh, um... <laughs> per, per, person. Um, I didn't have um, those sheets up. There we go. Uh, what, uh, so, side side question: How do you, do they look aggressive? Make an inside check. I would just uh, like I got a four. I just like to say that Devin has moved one of his hands to nonchalantly to one of the cr- crossbows that's on his hip. Of course he has. Um, uh, uh, the surface fairly jovial, but you know, not much else other than that. Um, well, yeah, I, yeah, I've I've heard of stories. Um, what was the, what was it that they called you? Um, Peacekeepers. Yeah, yeah, that's a that's a good name. But uh, you know, hey, I again to to your point, Fire Lady, uh, just business, no big deal. Um, matter of fact, um, I got a lot of you. Been on the been on the hungry side. Um, you wouldn't have anything we could maybe long term borrow in our stomachs for a little while. Where? Why don't you give them some candy? Do you guys like candy? Uh, I mean, considering everything going on, um, I'll take anything. I mean, um, don't you really have food? Even if you've got. Even if you've got like soap or anything like that, like that would be fine too. We, um, we got Jacob. plenty of food. Yeah. Could you say that we took any of the Bahir meat as well? Because Zakria probably would have liked to take some yeah, of it to uh, sure. feed to the lizard. Sure. Yeah. Sure. No problem. Cool. Um. So she would mention that. She goes, "Well, we have lots of strange yeah. meat left over from a battle recently." Oh, that's that's awesome. Um, I haven't cooked it, it yet. It's just been salted as of the moment, but oh, it's not hard to set a so, fire. But by so, the way, um, forgot to answer your question, pointing at word screen. Um, I'm Saltiel. These chuckleheads behind me. That's Itza right behind. Mitsesha on the other side. That one just goes by Z. You... As, soon as, as soon as he introduces himself, we're like moves forward with her arms like this and kind of looks at everyone else. No. Oh, no. Wait, 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 wait. No. No, we're, no. we're. Um, you thought it was a low breath thing. I know. It was a joke. Um, Because I was feeling very awkward at the moment. And then when I pushed him down, I lied because I was embarrassed. That wasn't very nice. I know. What am I supposed to do when I can't push people over? How do I show French? Um, you high five them. High five would be nice. Uh, he has snakes for hand. No, no offense, but he has snakes for hand, hey, so you can't no, really have. Totally get it. None taken whatsoever. Um, we're still been... up for hand. You said with everything that's going on, uh, what? <laughs> Is there something strange going on? I mean, it's we're uh, coming from the Po district uh, out in uh, Okeechobee. It's not exactly Ugh. great. You said it. It's not exactly awesome. Um, you see, we were supposed to, um, after kidnapping your queen, again, sorry about that, um, we were supposed to actually, not like our entire colony was supposed to be um allegedly um up leveled into the um into the seven. Oh, and so uh that just didn't really happen um oh, no. once uh well i mean once the negotiations were over we were essentially thrown to the wolves if you will uh so we just been kind of dealing with it you know do you have somewhere to be in the middle of the night um, we're about to make camp. Uh, well, we were uh, we were gonna sort of uh, 
head over um, to these uh, these tents that we found, um, you know, about a couple days ago um, when we were scouting out our sort of exit strategy. Um, but uh, then we found do you, you know, guys. Do you know what's yeah. there, if you don't mind me asking? <sighs> to be honest with you, uh, not really. Um, we just saw it. Um, Z back here kind of uh, told us about it, and we, we figured it was a good place for us to sort of have the entryway between um, Lobra and Duvai, and we were going to try to make our way north. When did those In statues insight. appear? Go for it. No. Yeah, Zakria's kind of roll inside as well. Yeah, go for it. <clears throat> Five. <laughs> Five! Hard to read. Uh, 23. Jesus. Um, that's it's really convenient. There's a lot of things going on in your head right now. There is. <laughs> um, but the thing that's probably number one is what he said earlier, the one that, um, oh yeah, like he was the one that, uh, you know, we were in the room with the queen, but, you know, before all those Yanti are dead. So that's not true. Mm. Um, <laughs> uh, so that's one thing. Um, you gather additionally from that. Um, so, you know, kind of a classic sort of once one, one card falls out of the house of cards, everything kind of falls apart. Mm -hmm. And uh, everything else seems to be on the up and up, but that initial one is is what's what's starting to really bother you, because you know it's one thing to say, "Oh, our bad lols." Um, Another to not actually be alive. <laughs> is he there at all? Yeah. Um. Zagria is going to telepathically uh, warn um, warn her mount, warn Melora. Just be like, something's not right. And that's a good time for us to take our break. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, boy. Mm. Oh, man. Oh, geez. Saris, you said it best. Everything is suspicious and awful. Welcome to Lobra. <laughs> Welcome to the next part of our Skull and Dragons arc, everybody. And, you know, what the truth is. For, for anybody that doesn't know, <clears throat> that's how it's spelled. Okay? Tells me. Yeah. That right. tells you a lot. Hello, <laughs> Low, Low bruh. Bruh. So, uh, based very, very loosely off of um, a town that I do not like called Middleburg. So, with that, we will take a break <laughs> <laughs> and we will see y'all in about, I don't know, five to ten, whatever, or whatever, you know. What's well, sure. oh! um, Bye. 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 And we're live. Hurry! And we're we'll everybody. Music. Back. Oh, hi. So, when we went on break, the group was um, sort of found a group of four uh, Yanti that um, mentioned that they uh, all the peacekeepers all looked familiar. Um, because the last time that the peacekeepers ran into Yanti was in the first Baptist church, the cathedral in which they had to investigate to um, save uh, Queen Ellen Duvalia. Way, 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 way back in a one shot many, 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 many moons ago before all of this beautiful shit happened. But then Zakria recognized what he said about the yeah the, the room right before y'all met the fake queen ha <laughs> that was a lie because no yanti made it out of that room alive we will pick up right from that very moment yeah so zakria's 
immediately telling Melora there's trouble. They're they're lying about something. Um, keep your guard up. And she's hoping to, by telling Melora that, to subtly hint to the group via Melora uh, that something's up by like prompting Melora to either have hiss reaction? or or shake her tail or something like that. Okay. Just have a negative reaction gotcha. toward them. So based off of where the, the, the cart is, is, are you a Melora on like the other side? Yeah, we were, we would be, we would oh, have sorry. had. You're actually on the cart with, with Satur. Um, right. No, that's right. You guys swapped no. back, right? Sorry. Yes. So okay. we would have been heading toward the bank to try to make camp. <laughs> and then sure, sure. Zucre would have you know, walked up as Devin started talking to somebody yep. mm -hmm. with uh, Melora. Yeah. Anyway, um, but I will say um, it's, uh, it's not like we're asking for food just from nothing. Um, we actually do have a bunch of um, uh, adventuring gear. Maybe we could trade off. Some of you guys need some extra rope or, um, you know, up to you guys. The meat's going to spoil like it's... if we don't offload it anyway. We may as well attempt yeah, just, to trade. Just more peacekeeping, you know, between mm -hmm. us. Wonderful. That's awesome. That's really, really great. Um, it's really, really nice of all of you. Um, and uh, kind of like, all right. So, like, are we are we, are we setting up camp here? Um, wait here a moment. I want to see if it's okay with the rest of my party. Oh, sure. Yeah, absolutely. Take your time. Yeah, no, <laughs> no rush. Um, we'll, if anything, we can even we'll just sit right next to the, the cart right here, and we'll just sit in the sand. I recognize this is a very unique situation. Thank you. Much appreciated. I'll stay here. While they're by the and cart, the, do I overhear them saying yeah. anything to each other? So, um, they, the, uh, so yeah, they, they act, there's a, hmm. Good question. It's a really, really good question. Um, what languages do you know? Uh, common, Elvish, and Orc. Um, there's a lot of hissing, <laughs> lots of hissing. Okay. What about what about what about you, uh, Worst Great? I know Orin, Aarakocra, Common, Draconic, and Sylvan. Yeah, no dice. Lots of hissing. Lots of hissing. Hmm. Does anyone know Abyssal? Um, no, I know Infernal, and I do not have that spell. Darn it. Okay. This soul AF, indeed. So, yeah. That doesn't make me feel good. <laughs> um, recognizing that, that... They might not speak a certain language. Zakri is going to look at them specifically and uh, ask in primordial. Do you speak primordial? Sorry. Um, she goes, apologies. Uh, I recognize that it's not a language I usually have time to practice. Um, oh. I was just hoping you wanna, to practice. You want to do like sort of like a a language off? Um. Uh, she's gonna look to Rilo really quick and go, in primordial, they're lying about something. Before looking back at them and saying, yeah. we don't. I was just hoping to practice. It's uh. She switches to Draconic and, and says, uh, yeah, I'm happy to, 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 to be the one that you practice on, if you know this language, of course. <laughs> hmm. Not what I'm getting. And she, in Sylvan, she goes, what about Sylvan? Ooh, that's, a, that's beautiful. I have no idea what you said. I'll respond in Draconic. 
I think I'm the only one that speaks this. Oh! <laughs> wow! <laughs> that was and a comment. Looking at Devin, she goes, in Sylvan, they're lying about something. What Before looking back at them and it? saying, well, this is... I'm glad we have something, somebody to practice with at least. A great game to do in the middle of the desert. I mean, I'm, precisely. I'm blown away. Um, what about? Uh, and there's this. Um, where did their damn chief go? One sec. Nope. Actually, okay. Never mind. Um, so confused. <laughs> Like, what is happening? I literally say in um, common because I don't know what's happening. I, also I, I, I don't know these languages. and You guys are scaring me. You guys are talking in tongues. What's going on? It's all right. Apologies. Uh, to be honest, we only, I, I, like, I, me, and the, me and the boys, we only know, we only know three, really. Um, common, you know? Abyssal, and Draconic. That's it. Oh, interesting. Abyssal? Yeah, I would, I would love to learn a little draconic. Oh, and it's like it's like a very like it's it's you know like in French it's like parler français or whatever. And uh, <laughs> as I insult every French viewer ever, but don't worry, I'm French too, so so I insult myself. I'm from New Orleans, so. Bria, I can teach you draconic. I, I that think would be delightful. Dropping the lead here. Um... Well, well, where did you learn Abyssal? Oh, I, I've actually kind of always known it. Really? Yeah. Oh. Interesting. Is so, this a language? Con Draconic and Common I had to pick up in, uh, in primary school. You went um, to primary school? Why don't you guys continue yeah. discussing? I'm going to get the meat from the cart so we can attempt trade. Okay. Uh, Devin, do you yeah. mind helping me with that? We have very extensive primary schools here in Logro. Yeah. Uh, I don't yeah. think we're going to suck in fucking sure. uh, Okeechobee. Sure. In the capital. They're pretty great. I don't even remember going to school at all. They think I'm really? from the future. And what? as Devin, Devin kind of turns his horse and he angles it so Satur can see him and he taps his crossbow. To let him know that something's up because he's turned the horse around so they can't see him and he just kind of lightly pats the crossbow towards the tour so towards the tour yeah okay um, i have no idea what they're doing but weirdest mexican abyss abyssal standoff of all time i love it <laughs> so <laughs> <laughs> But, um, so, huh, that must mean, <clears throat> okay, because I have the same thing with Infernal, like, it was just a language that I just happened to know, like. Yeah, you learned common in primary school? Uh, well, yeah, that, and then, like, learned Halfling from my parents. Um, oh, wow. And then, um, and then Dave taught me Celestial. Yeah, by the way, you're the only one I don't recognize. That's so strange. You, uh, you're like the the new the new the newbie. He's a, he's a new friend. We we picked him up. Um, I'm the new kid on the block. He knows a lot of songs. Oh oh oh. <laughs> he's got the right stuff. Say. So thank you for picking it up. <laughs> Just um, you know, you got the going right stuff. <laughs> step by step. I will turn this ship around. I Ooh, baby. <laughs> <laughs> gonna get to you girl uh -huh. mm -hmm. we about to, we are about to tell these uh these jaunty bye 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 um wrong group <laughs> um <laughs> very much the wrong <laughs> I don't know, take boy a, bands. Take a negative inspiration. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I just I just don't have any inspiration. Now. It's like I'm the wrong generation <laughs> too. <laughs> like, <laughs> I mean, they toured together. But at least, like, at least you know, I get it. I get it. <laughs> um, I have okay. never heard any of their songs, but at least I knew who they were. 
you know not not a boy band person I, I would have been <laughs> joey Oh, okay. Who that is? Anyway, so to bring it <laughs> in, <laughs> I let you chuckleheads go on for a while. Because I'm fatigued. <laughs> <laughs> so, um. And there's yeah, your French. Kind of Hold together. Um, uh, oh, okay. Um, so, what was the really, uh, kind of looking at user career, what was the really like flighty, sounded like a, almost like a loot? language I that was like really pretty um, he's, he's, he's referring to Sylvan, Sylvan. Uh, it's it's Sylvan it's oh. I learned I I grew up among well I started my life in a caravan and eventually things changed and I spent a lot of my formative years uh, among druids in the wood so I learned Sylvan from them. Hmm. Kind of like Z back here. He actually used to be in a in a circus. Can you believe that? There's like yes. a loud like horrible from back behind him. Oh, I guess There's he's not. No he's kind of in... upset that I, I'm telling telling a bit of his business. And uh, and you hear Z in in, in, um, in common. It wasn't a good time. Sometimes it's not. There's no shame in being a part of a circus, though. Sometimes my Caravan performs Cirque-like activities, but that's what happens in a Genasi nomadic tribe. You guys know where you came from. It's true. Um, yeah, it's all it's going to be. Not know where you came from? Uh, Indian one? No. We're screwed, right? Yes. So, yeah, I've never seen it. I mean, this at all... Do with all due respect, never seen anything like you before. That's a lot of people unique. haven't. Um, I think I'm the only one that's here. Uh, wow. in this, uh, what did they call it? Um, in this time, time, okay, yeah. Okay. Like I said, they think I'm now. from the future. Do you think you're from the future? I have no idea. I don't remember anything before I got to the volume. Oh, shit. Wow. Amnesia. Good thing it. If you don't mind, um, again, I'm going to take my Yeah, you want to the thing? Yeah. yeah. We'll just hang out here. Come on, Devin. Damn it. And we're going to go to the other side of the cart. Or anything while you guys are prepping? Some what? Uh, like, you know, like jerky. You know, um, rat, yeah, I've always got some on me. Cut the edge off before dinner. I've always got some on me. Yeah, sure. She's going to take out a strip of jerky oh, and awesome. just toss it from her mount to him. Thanks. I've Thanks. got orange candy bacon. Okay. I don't know what that is. I would I certainly would love to try it. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, and, uh, you know, the Duvalia, have you guys been there? Oh, we're on the way. They oh. have so many food choices. I have sandwiches. It's weird. That's his last time. I mean, we when I say I haven't been, I mean I haven't been this, the, to the to, to the capital. Oh, oh. Like yeah, but you know. have you been to Jayville? No, never got that far. Remember, pow, kick. Ugh. They don't even know what slurp is. Seriously, right? It's quite the delicacy. I mean, it's all we eat. I like to have some with, like, scallops. What? What's a What's scallop? A wow. It seems we have a lot to learn from each other. Wow, I'm so glad that we stopped We stopped by you guys. That's right. Want to try sandwich? Anyway, don't, don't let us stop you from doing what you need to do for prep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Sakria, you can go finish whatever you're going to do. I don't know what you're going to do, but she goes yeah. off by herself sometimes. Um, I'm going with Devin. She's not oh, they're going the, off by they're herself. the grown we're doing ups. The buddy they're the grown ups. And we're, we're using we're the buddy not. system. They're going to Z, Z Z kind of spins it. Z kind of pops up from the back. You guys need help? Um, we should have it. It's not. It's honestly, it's not much. It's the very least that we could do. Um, no, we're fine. We're good. Thank you. <gasps> oh, 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 oh! Yeah, they want some personal time. 
Oh, like, yeah, they, yeah. They need to talk like, about like, stuff. Like, what? They like, want to be by themselves. Oh my god, you guys, you guys, you guys. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, okay. The best story. And, the best story. and at this the point, Devin starts his horse back to the back of the, the car. Zakria's red faced. She's going to follow him. <laughs> hey, fuck, it's nighttime. <laughs> Well, hold on. Her hair is on fire. It's very clear to see. (laughs) That's true. That's a great point. Guard is like, guard duty is going to be interesting tonight. Oh, yeah. So, um, whispering as best as she can in Sylvan, she's going to, um, tell Devin. Excuse me. Um, they weren't there when we in that room. They weren't there when we rescued the queen. None of them were there. We cleared that room out. And Devin will reply back in his open. You're right. Oh. There's something off. They've Everything else they've said seems to be on the up and up. But I don't know why they're lying about being there. Well, how do you want to handle this? It wouldn't be hard to say that we remember that and that we don't remember them being there to call them out on it. But I also, I'm not sure if everybody else is up for a fight. I warned you and I warned Rilo. That's about everybody I could warn. I kind of motioned to my crossbow with Sator. So I think he might've, he might've caught it. You also warned Word, just so you know, Word does understand Sylvan. Oh, perfect. And you technically think you warned Rilo, but you didn't because he didn't understand any of that. <laughs> <laughs> That's par for the course. But you feel great about it. And I, I love mean, Rilo. We're, we're just, we're wasn't listening, but she, under, she understood what you were saying, but she just, you know, oh, well, eh, whatever. Yeah. New friends. Do you want me to circle around behind them? Or do we just straight up call them on their lies? I'd rather, if we're peacekeepers, I'd rather continue keeping the peace. I'd like to just call them out. And as long as they don't mean any harm to us or anybody in Duvalia, since they say they're heading there, I wouldn't mind breaking bread and making trade. And at that, Devin kind of looks at Zakria. Do you remember the old one? Okay. The one, the, the older one, the one that we brokered the peace with. He could assume the shape or appearance of other people. Hmm. They're headed to Devalia. They sent Sven away. Um, the queen was very uncomfortable around the king. What if some of them are already there? That is not something I would have considered. It didn't ring a bell until we started going back over that night. Interesting. And with them lying, I my only other assumption is the king is acting the way he is because he's either mad, a dragon, or someone who's not really the king. Or all of the above. All right. Well, we'll let's handle that them. when we handle that, but let's at least call them on their bluff. Okay. I'll follow Start your lead. Because you're the leader. <clears throat> I don't think Sator has heard the story before, Rilo. 
I don't think he was there. I think he was too focused on Mary and Sue. Right. Um, oh my God. No. So, what so story? We were watching um, as there was this most awkward conversation happening between our two good friends. Um, and it was beautiful and weird and we had popcorn and we had candy. popcorn and it was candy and um real quick you, um jacob before devin and i head back <laughs> zakria is gonna say um i'm gonna produce flame one more time and take that as a go all right <laughs> and after that she's gonna overhear rilo saying that and immediately be like shut up Stop talking. What? What? Stop talking. Oh, uh, oh. That's what you usually say to Devin. You're the leader. It's else's... really red. That is not anybody else's business. You told us to keep talking to them. Right? She does return with the meat. Not a lot. Probably like. Ooh. I don't know. Oh, that's great. Again, it's Thank not so cooked, much. it's just salted. Yeah. Oh, I thought actually we were going to have dinner together. Oh. Bring, bring bread, right? We could I do mean, that, right? I would love to, as long as you tell me why you're lying about where you were in that room. What? Uh -huh. The room before we rescued the queen, you weren't there. I know because oh, my halberd oh. went through several of those heads. And I shot several and killed them with my crossbows. And at this point, Devin's hands are both resting on both of his crossbows, so oh, okay. that he can quit drawing. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. We don't mean any like, trouble. You, you kind of hear like there's like a, a like there's like a, a bit of hissing uh, happening over here. All right, everybody, everybody, hold on, hold on, hold on. We don't mean any trouble. We just Some want to know why thing. you're lying. I just, I, 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 I saw who you were. Every auntie knows, knows knows all of you, except with the exception of the little guy. Mm -hmm. It just seemed like the right move to. Uh, everyone knows the story. Everyone knows what you guys are, and I mean that. And you guys are heroes from a volume perspective, at least, right? You stopped the war. You created a ceasefire. Which is, you know, we still lost. Right? Killed a lot of us. And that's something I still regret. It just seemed like the right, just, you know, otherwise we're just a, a bunch of Yanti coming to eat food. And there's absolutely nothing some... wrong with that. So, yeah, maybe it was an overcorrection, or, or, uh, but, it, but look. Here we are, right? I. We're about to have. We can still have dinner together. Sure. Yeah, you're right. I wasn't in the fucking room. None of us were. <clears throat> Guess what? That's because they're all dead, like you just said. Oh. Well, maybe, maybe we should apologize for killing everybody in the room, and you can apologize for lying, and then we can have dinner. Before we do that. Actually not going to, but I'll tell you why. Because I don't think you should apologize for doing the right thing for you and your people. Because we shouldn't apologize for trying to do the right thing for, for us and ours. So no, I'm not going to apologize for lying. Sometimes we they should. They got us to hear. Um, That's very fair. not have it used to having people tell her no. Um. <laughs> Uh, uh, oh, okay, I, I guess, um, I'm not sorry. That's right. very convincing. <laughs> um, can uh, Zakria roll an insight check on how these, how these guys are feeling now that I've called them out? Yeah. I'd like to as well. Sure. <clears throat> 22 17 fuck up, huh? okay. 
There's still a bit of hissing happening behind, <clears throat> behind him. That, as the conversation's gone on, that seems to stop. Okay. Satoru okay. is just sitting back reading the room on the cart. Sure. And, um... They... For the first time, now that the truth is starting to come out, there is a hint, a small one, of desperation. He's a really fucking good liar. But he's trying to take care of his people the same as you all. You all are. If so you don't mind me. Brass tacks here. By the way, great tavern in it. Good to know. We can fight right now. Or we can go back to breaking bread. I mean, I'm sure Zakaria would enjoy a fight because she kind of slept through her last one. But Again, people don't need to know that. She's a heavy sleeper, apparently. I didn't know that is this. That's not information that anybody needs to know. She didn't even wake up when lightning struck. It made glass out of the sand. Enough was... you two. Zakria has said that others don't need to know our business. She's the leader. Do as she says, please. Fair. Um, but I would like to say something just because I've been to that city. Um, these folks live in terrible conditions and whatever, whatever's transpiring here is really, it is really the, um, most reserved actions of somebody living like that that you could expect um oh i don't intend on fighting i'm just as saying as... the uh, i i've what these um folks here have displayed is a, a very um uh what's that we're honorable um because <sighs> people there are desperate and desperation causes people to do awful things. I know. I've been through it. Um, so, I want to sit down with these men. Because they're good, obviously. Um, they at least have honor and restraint. We didn't used to. I know. I'm sure. I... Do you even know why? Why the queen got kidnapped? I think there um, were a couple of reasons. I don't remember that. I don't really have a good memory. Because, from what I recall, you were, your people were tired of the mistreatment. And I don't really don't think that's ceased. But that's what we're here to change. Now, um, before we break bread, I do want to know what your business is in Duvalia. Since you're heading that way. Puts a hand right in front, moves down. There is like a small, like purplish, like machination of like a almost like a, like not a shockwave. And he looks like Zakria. He snaps his fingers, and he's right back to it. She's not gonna like that. Proving a point. He takes out a small 
Very familiar to you, Satora, as one of the glam the glamour. Hmm. Hmm. Do you all remember the uh, the little guy in the bar? I. I I believe they're going to try to assimilate with um, and try to make a better life. Is that what I'm getting? That's the idea. Or uh, I'd rather say that's the hope. So then, are you tradesmen or merch or carpet or um? What is your trade? I. To be honest, we we're gonna figure that out when we got there. The hard part is getting there. Oh, the bugbear! The next hard part. The next hard part is staying there. But hey, he looks like it looks like Chirello. How did you get there? I don't remember. Why don't we share that over a fire? Zakria is going to formally invite them. Boys. And in Sylvan, she's going to say to Devin, uh, stand down. And he'll respond as you wish later. And he'll take his hands off his crossbow. And as uh, as they stand up, you see that their left hand that was all four of them actually was behind their back and also is out in front as well. So are we, are we sitting on the ground around a fire? Is that the idea? Yeah, we've got we've got stuff to make a fire. All right. Okay. You you guys said that you're making camp at the statues. Uh, how long have you been at the statues before, or is that something new? Oh, something new that we discovered recently. Uh, that's, that's on Z. Z, uh, Z. Z kind of perks up. Yeah, it's, it's kind of newish. It's really weird. The statues or the tents? The tents were there, invented from somebody before. Statues are new. That's not the answer I was expecting. Right? I feel like a, a tent is a lot easier to create than a statue, that thing. Well, I think someone set it up to kind of have an intermediary when, when traveling, but when the war broke out and nobody really was traveling anywhere other than to, you know, kill each other until our leaders decided not to kill each other anymore. Or it's fucking stupid. Hey. You got that right. Um, he kind of like takes out like a small like kind of like water skin. Oh. Uh, I don't know if any one of you had uh, any uh, fire water or anything to share, but um, I have a little bit left. Fire water? Possibly <laughs> over to use a crew. You might want to put out your hair before you open that flask. Oh, um... As long as the fire is lit. Um, And she's going to run another hand through her hair and it goes out. A couple of the islands I've been at, they call fire water alcohol. And that um, probably would have been very bad. Oh, if it's alcoholic, I'm I'm not drinking while we travel. And she's going to toss it back. Oh. Not not yet. I'll celebrate when we get there. To each their own. (laughs) Much appreciated. I would have been trying to sample some of your um, finest, if you don't mind. Positive to you. Zakri is going to get to work uh, starting to roast 
the meat. Yeah. So, uh, so this is here. It's very weird because initially it tastes like old lukewarm wa- like water, and then right afterwards, pow, there is that hit of this dark like moonshine like taste. Hey, mm. <clears throat> that kicks like a horse in the teeth. Hey, what's that? What is it made with? You know, never thought to ask. It's one of those. I know where I'm headed. Drink, drink, drink. <laughs> I really like to ask questions. I I think I'll have that's enough for me then. Um anybody else? I'll, I'll stay with the you, bourbon. Little, what about you, little one? Kind of looks at you, Rilo. Um uh, where they were talking, um, as opposed to where they are all gathering, how far away is that? Well, I figure if we're all encircled around a, a fire that Zakria is taking uh, tendering, um, not far. It's kind of a semicircle. They're on one side, you guys are on the other. Zakria in the middle. Um, Kumbaya, my lord. Because essentially, uh, from the time that that one, he asked him the question about how he got there. Um, mm-hmm. he hasn't moved. Uh, he hasn't said anything. He hasn't done anything. Mm-hmm. So uh, I imagine Devin... that's like off. Probably off, off to the off side. Ways. Yeah. Okay. So, so you're not even there. So no. Does Devin notice this? Actually, I'll say, I'll say that he, he yelled it back to you. Yeah. Go for it, Devin. What's up? Uh, does Devin notice that Rilo hasn't moved from the spot? I mean, yeah, you would know because he's not in the semicircle. So, uh, I'm gonna look at Zakria, and I'm gonna look back to where I think Rilo might be, and I'm gonna tell her in Sylvan I'm gonna go check on Rilo. Uh, in Sylvan, she responds. Actually, do you mind if I? Can you turn the fire? Sure. <clears throat> and he goes tending the fire. You can tell he's very uncomfortable right now sure um last time i drank something um specifically alcohol i may or may not have thrown up on the our quest giver's head um so i don't think we want to do that right now all right suit yourself that was cool They'll uh, <laughs> head it amongst the four of them. Uh, Zakri is going to go over to Rilo and uh, pat him on the shoulder. Huh. Hey, bud. Hi. You okay? Huh. Oh, where did everybody go? Um... We're making camp, you seem to have zoned out. Okay, um, yeah, I had a, you want to talk about it? I don't know. I, I've been trying not to think about it since, yeah, I don't know. I just don't know. I, uh, oh. <sighs> Not a very good. Well, I'm a pretty good. I'm okay at lying. Um, it just comes natural, right? You know, when you can talk well with people about things and connect and things and all that stuff. But I mean, you don't have to say anything if you don't want to. You don't have to make yourself lie. You can just say nothing. 
No, I know. I just, uh... I just lied right there. Because I do remember. Remember all of it. I just wasn't expecting the question. I wasn't supposed... Want... I wasn't supposed to... I wasn't supposed to... Do you want to be truthful? Maybe. Maybe. Usually. Nowadays, yes. It's easier to be truthful because you don't have to remember your lies. That's true. Because that gets confusing after a while, especially when you don't retain things very well. Hmm. But, um... I don't know. I wasn't... Uh, I dropped my guard. I, I wasn't supposed to let be from here I'm not supposed to be from here it's Rilo's not from here just kind of from here just I don't know I'm from here to people in Duvalia but not to the people here mm -hmm. if that makes any sense that makes perfect sense it still, it still lies, but. Do you want to know how many people I've shared my story with? Four. I'm, oh. You, Devin, Sachar, and Worth. As far as anybody knows, I am from Duvalia. I am Duvalian. That's just what we have to live with. Yeah. Um, I, uh, um, I'm sorry uh, about earlier. Uh, sometimes, well, I, I found, uh, growing up, um, when you get picked on a lot and stuff for being different and weird, uh, you use, uh, I use deflection and humor for, um, you know, <sighs> making everything good. Um, and so I make jokes at inappropriate times. This much I've learned. So I apologize for that. Thank you. Um, but for what it's worth, um, you know, I, um, I don't know a lot about that stuff. Like, I think I've kind of been in love once, but... <laughs> Um, I don't know. It was, that's a whole nother story, but what I do know is that it's a very weird, awkward feeling and, and it's just weird, you know? Mm -hmm. So if, if feel like if everything feels super weird right now, then yeah, then you're you're doing fine. I do appreciate that. Okay. How about this? I'll make you a deal. Mm -hmm. If if ever you feel uncomfortable, or like you need to get something off of your chest, just tell me, 
Tell me. And I'll tell you a story about myself. And then you can tell me something about you. Okay. The better we know each other, the more we can share. That's the fair. better we'll be as a group. Okay. <clears throat> so, uh, all right. Um, I, you you worked in a prison, right? Mm-hmm. Long time? Most of my adult life, yes. Do I come off like somebody who's been in prison? Sometimes yes, other times no. There's lots of different people in prison. That's good. Huh. Lots of people who may not belong. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't that the truth, but uh, uh, it's not my job to say whether or not they're there because they're supposed to be. I'm just there to keep them there. Yeah. Which is an unfortunate side effect. <clears throat> I really, um,. There is a reason, a very, a very key, key, key reason why you are the leader. Because the way you see everything and put it all in perspective, you have a clearer vision than all of us. And not saying that, you know, the the rest of us don't see things the way you do. But it's how you rationalize it and respond to it. That makes it important, you know, because like Satur sees things very well, but he also has a tendency to just get super upset all of a sudden and start breaking shit. He's good at that. Really good at that. But that's not like, that's not reasoned, you know? Um, Devin sees things very well as too, you know? But Devin also, I don't Doesn't know. trust most people as far as he can throw them? Pretty much. And I'm sure for very valid reasons. He's seen some shit. Yeah. You know. And we're seeing stuff really well, too. Um, but it's not. Um, it's kind of how I see things in the sense of like just wanting to pick out the, the, the joy of the moment and ignore the other blah, you know? Mm -hmm. um, and a leader can't do that, you know? So, yeah, I don't know. I, I just, you know, there's a reason why we constantly say it and that's it. Um, so anyway, I, guess well, I don't feel like it a lot of the time. So thank you for reminding me constantly. <laughs> I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm sure it's, uh, it's not easy, um, leading this group because we are a lot of wild cards. No kidding. <laughs> oh boy. Um, yeah, so I'm sure you're with, hungry. I am starving, and thank you. Um, I appreciate this a lot. I got really stunned back there, and I lost track of time. That's okay. We all need time. Now more than ever. We're going to have lots of time on the road. That's right. I'm curious about days. 
Would you mind if I asked you to teach me some stuff about how you do magic? The way oh. we do magic is very different. Oh, yeah. I mean, a lot of it is natural, you know? Like, it's just kind of ingrained as we're walking back, you know? <clears throat> um, but, you know, there's these things that Dave teaches me, you know? It's, like, kind of different, too. So, you know, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's good to know. The wall... While all of that conversation is going down, we cut back to the uh, the fire that Devin is tending with the uh, four Yanti and the remainder uh, of the peacekeepers. And um, I, I messed up my own browser. <laughs> and um, uh, Z is actually going to get up and. Uh, so just as a matter of thanks, I actually have a, a really cool um, magic trick too. So watch this, right? So mm -hmm. we're, we have this, this sand, right? Watch this. And he gets a twirl his finger. Just he has a second, and a third, and a fourth, and his entire hand, right? Because he doesn't have the snake hands but as he continues to do that he with his other hand he points down at the sand and what you see is the sand is beginning to ooh, just almost like a small mini tornado and then in the in the middle of the tornado there's an outline of what appears to be this long snake And then the tornado itself like subsides, almost as if summoned. And and Orsgreet, it begins to over to you. It doesn't bite. It won't last very long. Go to 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 boop it. <laughs> <laughs> on the nose and it Oops, kind of like it sort of reacts like a like a cat would where like it just kind of like takes it and then it then like there's a small kind of a sand and it encircles your hand that tight just around right back here George is just somebody to play with on a temp just temporary match. He's only gonna last another ten minutes or so. Well, I, uh, this is a cool kind of good trick. Thank you. Appreciate that. Just something I picked up along the way, you know, the road. So Devin. You sort of have your back to the the other the other three. Um anything that you're doing while you're tending the fire? He is nonchalantly keeping an eye on the others. Um, he's pretending like he's not paying attention, but he does not trust them. He is a soldier first and foremost, and the, this is his team. He's going to do everything he can to protect them. Mm -hmm. So he's just he's kind of keeping an eye on everybody. So, um, uh, Salt Salt Leo, who's the Especially the guy that's been speaking most majority of the time, um, kind of picks up what you're putting down, and he he just goes, "It's okay. It, Seriously, it's it's okay. I get it. I really do." Then Devin kind of lets his hood fall a little bit, and his milky white eye around it. There's that purple and green and black energy just kind of circling around and then it stops. Did one of us do that to you? Not one of yours. Your, I don't even know what to call you, dude. I don't want to offend you. 
It was someone from Bobra. Snake but... Folk's fine. Yanti's fine. It wasn't Yanti, but I fought a lot of battles against the people of Lobra. <sighs> Kai grabs his skin, the water skin again. So the fallen. Devin just kind of nods and so it falls back a little bit more. Satir, are you doing anything? Uh, so Satir is sitting back and enjo- not really relaxed with the company, um, but remembering, trying to remember what everything else that happened during the incident in the church. Because uh, he remembers the sh- that he dealt a blow to one of them and then pushed off on right that that moment trying to recall if he can remember anything about that one that he struck and if there's anything about that one in particular that is that one here it's not hard for you to to peek back into your memories about this because your axe hit it right in the left like cheek and just tore it asunder like it was m- almost missing like a quarter of his face after you were you were done mm-hmm. none of these four look like that one but that one is still out there somewhere I uh, I almost hate to ask this of you guys. Um, hey, anything at this point. We're about uh, to break bread, remember? I, uh, there was one I injured back at the church. And I'd like to pay rep and pence. Would you by chance know of one that had came back with a scar or maybe a deforming of his face? Um, well, pardon the, the, the statement, but kind of a lot of them. Y'all did some damage, but uh, I but they, it would have been done alive. It would have been done with something about like this. Matter of fact, I don't think so. Z, Z kind of perks up. Oh, yeah. As a matter of fact, someone does come to mind. A lady by the name of Natlazoa lives in the Po district out in Okeechobee. What was that name again? Pretty deep in. Not Lazoa. Yeah. Missing missing a good half face. I thank you, sir, for that. You got it. I I yeah, think I it might uh, I think she shacks up with uh well, not in the, that manner of speaking, but how how po the Po district is, typically folks are sharing shacks amongst different families. And so um, she's kind of running out of space from a, uh, this lizard folk couple. Could be too hard to find. I appreciate that very much. I feel really... I feel like it's part of my search for for what I need to find amends I need to make. It never made me feel good at the end of that. Well, you find the one with the exposed teeth. Check me.
and you know, it's, it's probably not going to make a lot of amends for what I've done to those that you've lost. And he takes out, it's not too much, but it's something that might help you when you get up there. And he hands over uh, a couple of gold pieces to each of them. Maybe all these could just start it when you get up there. I kind of look down and look up. There's like a kind of a puzzled expression. I it's the volume currency that you'll need when you get there. Um, gold means a lot when you're, you're there. It, it, it's considered the highest end of the currency list. It's not much. Thank you. But it, it'll at least get you started. Um, again. War is horrible, and I wish the worst. I wish we wouldn't have been in it to start with. Well, and I so very much. I. I wish that me and Mary wouldn't have had this chance to even strike your friends down. How confident are you that the ceasefire is permanent? <sighs> That's a good question. One we're trying to find out. We're wary. Be careful on who you trust when you're there. Be extremely careful. Oh, that's a problem for tomorrow. Because now I definitely try Blue Boys. <laughs> it's a store. Hold on. Let's let's eat first and then I'll I'll ask. Should be ready. ready. Here, try this, then you'll know. And I hand him a piece of the sandwich that I have in my bag. <laughs> Three day old turkey and Swiss. <laughs> 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 it probably smells absolutely fucking garbage now um but there's like he grabs it and like you see his like tongue cut up Ooh, and kind of like and it's like there's like a <sighs> swallows it whole that one's a bit old it'll be better when you get there Oh my gosh, I bet you would be able to f do the challenge. Yeah. By the way, that tasted actually pretty good. See, Zakria. Uh, what? It's a whole sandwich. Oh, okay. What do you. Is it like a challenge? It's like a. Yeah, you have to eat it like a whole one, and it's huge. Oh. And if you eat it all within this time frame and don't throw it up, you get right. it for free. And oh. another one. Oh, that. It kind of looks around. That might be, you know, a way for us not to starve when we get up there. And yeah. then one, one, of, one, of, one of them is just like... What if we lose? We won't lose. Just Don't be lose. careful. Um, Devin, how's the meat looking? Looks fine. Um, where did Zakria leave Melora in reference to where we're at? Um, Melora is sticking super close to the cart. Uh, which oh, isn't, oh, no, I'd say no, it's no, not no. far from the fire, but like, because Melora would, as a lizard, probably want to be as warm as possible all the time. Sure. Um, but yeah, she's she's manning the cart, just especially because she's got better dark vision than, you know, actual vision. She's making sure that everything's copacetic with that. Uh, so after, like, Zakria and Rilo get back, uh, Devin will kind of pass the food out um, 
and he's going to go and lean against Melora and close his eyes. There's a, a like Wur is still very distracted by the snake on her hand. She has no idea how to respond to that. Um, she just yeah, keeps, it's like, just hanging out. Booping it on the snoot. Yeah. And then, like, it's... recoiling. And then... Yeah, so when you boop it, it can, it just... it The head just encircles your other finger. All the way around. So you got, like, it's like this. Uh, and she just keep booping it so it goes back and forth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it takes, a minute, it takes a minute, but yeah, it just kind of sort of looks almost like a game, a bad game. Um, but Devin, <laughs> you get the sense that they're, <laughs> they're act, make an animal handling check. Actually, I'm good at that. <laughs> My ornery lizard. That's a six. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, that was, um, <laughs> even with a six, you know, that like, you're kind of in, kind of in Melora's space a little bit. Not very cool. She that. was warned to behave. <laughs> she was, but she's still a little, little, uh, you're in her bubble. I promise I won't say three words. And he closes his eyes. Are you like leaned up against her? Yeah. Like your back feels like the 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 like her um, her heartbeat. And then there's like a <laughs> and then there, you feel you feel like there's like vibration behind you. And then there's like a, a re, like a relaxation. Like it's it's, she's like a, a lion, with like, very much just like what the fuck are you doing here? But like, okay, fine, you're here. Hmm. I'm not a fan of it, but okay. She's tolerating it. <laughs> it's a it, there's a line, and you are you have hit it. <laughs> Isn't that what he does? Pushes people's buttons. Indeed. So, Rilo, you ma you've made it back to make made it back to the fire. Mm -hmm. That question still kind of lingering. And uh, as you as you make it back, there is a moment where. Um, Zaltiel is is kind of hey just gives you not like a, a, a um this will look and then is back to um enjoying um the meat and it says to you Zakria well I mean, this is uh, pretty good very um uh well seared uh what is it some sort of steak of some of something. You muted, Jess. Well, it was the uh, creature that came out to attack us. Day one of being in the desert it was a uh, it was a bit here. Oh. Oh, that's. It was odd and. Have you heard of Bahirs that can do magic? <laughs> I don't think so. Yeah, this thing could. Uh, 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 you lot? And they kind of, like, there's just like a bunch of heads shaking. It's kind of cool, though. I mean, not for you guys, but I guess you know, we see who won, huh? I mean, it's secondhand for me. You heard earlier, I was asleep. And I was in the yeah. stomach. Got eaten. Mm. Wow. I 
Aye, it was messy. But Welcome. we got him off. We got him out. Welcome to the Okeechobee Desert. Is that common for creatures to be able to do magic at all? I mean, it kind of depends. Um, I have heard of some parts of it that have these strange sort of magical energies. Um, few and far between, but anything's possible, I suppose. Hmm. Mm. Um, you just came from where we're going. Do you mind yeah. if I ask you what we can expect on the way there? Um, well, if you're if you're lucky, completely quiet. Mm. But um I if you feel a kind of a quicken, um you should run. Really, really fucking fast. This is one of two things. It's either um, one of them. Um, what are they called? Uh, they're like these like rhino metal rhino looking things. Uh, I could charge through you. Hmm. Um, <laughs> damn, man, what called out. Um, so. Um, <laughs> Or, uh, or one of them um, big, kind of burly looking, looking, looking with sandworms. Uh, they're not mm. fun. Mm. Well, on your way through um, to Duvalia, yep. if you see giant creatures in the sky, run far and run hard. Can you be a little more specific around giant creatures in the sky? Oh, Anything there's a dragon somewhere. Anything that's bigger than me that's in the air. There's a dragon in there. Uh, to be fair, I mean, double you, I don't, I mean, double you being two of you from a size perspective, I don't think I'd be, frankly, too concerned about. But like 10 times you, that would be a big of a, a problem. How Lots good? of dragons. Yeah. All right. A good number of dragons. Um, How good are you at fighting? Good number? What's a good number of dragons? Like, well, no, no number no. is good, but a lot. More than one is is a good number. <laughs> okay. I uh, there there are rocks as well up there, and not the type you throw. Big oh, birds. The, the, the so very about, big bird. Can we, he points directly at Worskree. About three hundred times this one. I roughly. That's a, that's I'm going to kill him. Right. Really? Wow. One time we did it for fun. What's that? One time we did it for fun. Well, so like hunting? We were angry. No, we were, uh, we were angry. He's just like... <laughs> 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 we, were, we were angry. And then I, and and then I kind of died. Um, yeah. And then I blasted its foot off. And I just point at my circle. Mm. I see. I almost died a lot. Well, I'm glad you did. You undied, I guess. <laughs> we saved him. Just hey. a warning. Um. Also, we're kind of in the process of amassing a way to take care of said dragon, how good are you at fighting? How do you scale that? I mean, I've never killed a dragon or a rock before, but um, you know, I've, you know, I uh, I know enough to uh, run with something bigger than me after me, and you know, a few things are right about. I can take care of our. Myself and uh, these lot to kind of help me with that. Hmm. I would you be willing to help us if we needed it? Make a persuasion check. Can Sutter have advantage since I'm trying to also persuade them? Sure. Oh, that's good because I don't have a very good one. I mean, I'm better at persuasion, but 
since the tour seems to be help helming this. <laughs> yeah, that's what set it over the that's what set it over the top for sure. Fourteen. Fourteen. Well, I mean, we need to really resolve the whole getting to Duvalia first. Most yeah, certainly. Maybe if we see each other some other time, that might be something we could reconvene on. But as of right now, I'm gonna have to say, uh, I hope I never see a dragon right now. I, you do have I, to take care of yourself. That's fine. Maybe we can meet least. up at the. Maybe we can meet up at the Two Cats Inn, and uh, after you make a, a place for you. Oh, is that your watering hole? Uh, it's a place we go to every once in a while to get drinks. I that is. It looks pretty I'm good too. All right. Have to keep an eye on that, huh? To know. Hey, the drink specials are pretty good. It's not quite as uh, a kick you in the gut as the moonshine you guys have, but it's uh, it'll definitely take uh, take you off your seat. To be fair, he kind of holds up holds up his water skin. To be fair, this is desperation, so that's totally fine. I have a gin drink there that's delightful. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. What's it called? Oh boy. Zagreya remembers it. I don't. <laughs> oh, let me Jacob see what's in my notes. Jacob remembers that there are gin and tonics and gin juleps. Gin juleps. That's what Zakria was remembering. Well, all right. So now, uh, the second of awkward um, sort of questions. Um, as it is getting fairly late. Can we uh, I'm not ask you to sleep in your wagon or anything like that? Can we kind of hang out here? Oh, we're since we're out in the open in the desert, we're prone to taking watch. So you're welcome to hang, as you say. Sure. One of, one of uh, well, since we're all together now. Um, How about one of each to take watch? Yeah. That's Share watch. Speaking my language. Done. Because right. getting to that uh, place, you know, you have a bit of drink, a bit of food, and getting the getting the sleepies. Mm-hmm. It's fair enough. Mm. All right. Well, I I I'll volunteer for our side for first watch. All right. I'll take I'll take first with the. Uh, with the uh, with the usage here. Hey, right, sounds good to me. And yeah, we'll have... go ahead and Z, go ahead Z and take kinda, our spot. See, kind of picks up and kind of raises his hand, his hand and goes, "I'll take second, but if I can pick, I'll have the lower one." Points to Rilo. Okay, Rilo, Rilo, you good for a second? Okay. Yeah, that's cool. I stay up with Rilo. <clears throat> I'm good. I've, the, enjoy the ride. I've got to. Um, um, I've got to um, uh, conjure the thing and talk to Dave and um, see what he sends me this time. I'll take last watch. Hi. Sounds good to hear. And. Uh... That will be good for the world, eight, I think. Good. Indeed. Um, I'll get us to about sunrise. I have a question. Can Wurr sleep on top of the wagon? She can certainly try. Perfect. <laughs> Great. So, anything before we transition to the what situation? Anything else anyone else wants to do? Um, Zakria is just going to do her nightly prayer before bed. And okay. she's going to tend to her lizard, feed uh, Melora, try to have a really quiet. Well, she's going to telepathically have a chat with Melora while Devin's sleeping since she doesn't <laughs> want to disturb him and then get to bed. <laughs> 
and I will kind of walk off to the just a little away, not far, but just kind of um, with my back to everyone, you know, and just look up at the sky and just start mouthing, you know, words um, as I begin my conversation with Dave. But um, I don't speak out loud when I do that. Good to know. And then I'll go to bed. All right. So, first watch. First watch it is. So, um, do, do you have your uh, your axe out with you during this watch? Uh, I would say it's out, but not in a threatening manner, all right? It's just out sitting next sure. to me. Right. Sure, sure. 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 So uh, the reason I ask is, so now that you know that we weren't there, now I absolutely have to ask. Uh, you, you clearly have written some stories with that thing. You gotta tell me at least one. Oh, hey, we there's got four hours of... to kill all the time in, in the world. <laughs> Uh, I mean, there's there's so many that uh, there's a time that I got commissioned to protect a, a village. Um, it was shortly after I got the axe. Um, it was after I got released from my tenure at the on the ship. Um, uh, yeah, it was um. I was at, uh, I had two at the time, but at, at, I was actually asked to protect a, a small village from a, uh, it was a group of goblins that were attacking the village. Uh, they were doing occasional raids and raiding this village for the harvests that they were doing. This is back in my younger days when I didn't quite have a, a cool head, so to speak, if you know what I mean. Um, uh, back when my uh, temper always got the best of me. And while the village that I was protecting that time sees me as a great hero and still actually celebrates my name. I do feel it now in my... What was this at, this village that you're talking about? What was this? Oh, it was off the... I'm trying to remember the name of the village, but it was uh, off the sea. Oh, it was off the coast? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. I wouldn't know anything about it then. Yeah, it was quite a few, quite a few miles off the coast, uh, of the continent to quite a bit away. Um, but yeah, it was, I honestly felt, feel now looking back at it, now that we're trying to be protectors and peacekeepers now that I, I think back at it, I'm like, maybe there would have been a better way to take care of it all. Um, hence the reason I feel so bad about the stuff that I did to your, to, you know, the people that were there at the church. And I kind of wish that I would have had a better way of doing things. Age does that when you look back at your life. But also, context is everything. Aye, it is. And these goblins, they were, they weren't very, um, you say, friendly, <laughs> to say to speak. At least uh, when they, they, they don't, they, they were talking the goblin tongue, and they didn't really yeah. speak much in the uh, common. So. Uh, Have you heard of goblin soccer? It's all the rage in the capital. You know, I did hear, I did hear a little bit of that. Uh, our, our friend Rilo said that it's kind of something that isn't. He said it was a kind of a horrible thing, actually. Yeah, it's kind of an underground league. Aye. Got no people and no people. Is it something that the the goblins prefer to do? Is it something they ask to be to be a Something to be kicked? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong. They're definitely putting their bodies on the line because one of them's the fucking ball. But yeah. 
weird. I, it's, I would not think my, that not they... Not my cup of tea, but, you know, to each their own. Anyway, like I was saying about this, the protecting of the city, or the little village, um, but anyway, I, it was me against, I think it was about 12 different goblins that came raging in. Um, and I, I was just me and my Mary, the sax. She was a little bit small at the time, but um, and I held off this whole raging party of goblins that was attacking the village. Well, glad we got to, to do dinner instead of fisticuffs. Sounded like I would have been for it for a world of hurt. I, uh, you know, we've been getting to the point now where we try to settle things with words first and fists later, if <laughs> you know what I mean. Yeah, I do. Sometimes we don't get to to do to get to that point, but we try. Glad we did this time. I as well. Um, and hopefully we can make this place a little bit better than the last time we, we did. As we, we can make this better as far as when we walk. Yeah. And not in the fucking hot sand either. Yeah, maybe this won't always be hot sand. Maybe someday it'll be a lush forest. You never know. Kind of looks up at the stars, and they are plentiful. One, two, ten, hundred, thousands, hundred thousands. He just sits back for a moment. Anything else you want to do during your walk? While he's looking at the stars, I'll point up at him and I'll go, you know what's the amazing thing? Is when you look at these stars, even out here in this desert, they don't look much different even when you're on a boat. Yeah. I have to imagine, though, it's very shaky. Because you look up, it's still like that whole kushink. Aye, but you get used to the moves of the waves. And then you miss it quite a bit. Oh. I'd like to I'd like to try that. Uh, she's the sea. She's she's something. The sea will suck you in, and then you'll never want to leave her. Oh, she's asking me for some fucking consent first. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> but she uh, she's a fu- a finicky mistress. The sea is. I make a perception check. All righty. Dirty 20. Dirty 20. You guys continue to kind of rap stories about the, the sea and the stars and where you've been and war and all that stuff. But your watch uh, goes on without any issue. Okay. Next up is Z and who else was it? Sakria was going number two. It was Rilo. Rilo. Ah, Rilo and Word. Raising. <clears throat> it was Rilo. That's right. <clears throat> yep. And Word. That's true. So we walk over. So and um. Yeah, go ahead. Walk over and shake Rilo. 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 Hey. It's, hey. Oi. It's your turn. It's your turn okay. to wake up. Okay. Okay. Did what? you want to wake up? Did you want to wake up where? Or do you want me to? Oh, uh, yeah. I'll let you handle that. Um, not very easy to wake up, and sometimes she kicks. I well then I think I'll wake her up the way I did it on the boat when people are asleep. And I'll See, wake up. Only hearing the second half of that. Interrupts that entire conversation and goes, "Are they pregnant?" What? I, I heard like babies and kick. Uh, no, no, no it's... <laughs> babies. No, no, no babies. I. It's... Oh, 
Okay, yeah, I just Twitter. I heard the second half of that. I was just sorry. Never mind. I, I'll just be over here. He just hurries over to the fire. Oh, <laughs> clearly oh. embarrassed <laughs> at his interruption. Oh, <laughs> uh, okay. Um, oh my god. So I'll stand up on the cart and I'll use the the back end of Mary and go poke, poke, poke. <laughs> so it's so far away that she can't kick me. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. You Can think I? there's a distance where she can't kick you. <laughs> That's very true. <laughs> Battle axe is pretty long. That was your first mistake. <laughs> <laughs> so my first reaction would be to reach out and like punch whatever is poking me. And That's however, however, if I find that it's not a person, then I would like to grab it. I feel like if that's the case, you don't have a chance to choose. So uh, here's what I'm going to do. You're going to mm. make an attack roll at disadvantage. Okay. Mm. I can do that. Hold on. Give me one second. Okay. <laughs> I got a 20. <laughs> so too nice. much <laughs> 14. <laughs> Thwack! <laughs> Pow right in the kisser. One point of damage. <clears throat> I, I, well, that didn't work out so well for me. Uh, where? Uh... What? It's your turn for watch. Oh, okay. Ooh, that does not look good. You should get that checked out. Uh, maybe next time you don't sleep on top of the wagon, please. So we don't have to try and poke you with a long stick or something. Oh. I mean, I don't think there's going to be a different reaction. But right, well, next time we throw rocks at you to wake you up then. Oh, my goodness. Sator, Sator, I'm... See? Oh, here. Here, uh, don't worry about it. Forget that monks can throw things back as a bonus action. <laughs> I don't know that. I don't think you forgot. <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, oh, you're going to sleep, right? So I don't need to heal you. You're going to be fine. Okay. But I'll do it anyway because I can, because I'm going to go to sleep again. And then, yeah. And then you don't have to go to bed with a headache. I am going to bed. Good night, y'all. Thank you, Satur. Well. <laughs> <laughs> As per usual. Um, so yeah, so Z is up with you two. And um, uh, like for both of you individually, give me a perception check. Uh, oh, okay. Indeed. <clears throat> that tracks because I'm casting a spell. So, five. Uh, Sixteen. Sixteen. Okay. So Z sits around the fire with the, the two of you. All right, Hulot. We got about four hours to kill. What shall we do? He's going to summon either salt or pepper. Not sure which. Or uh, something else. I don't know. Or... Wait, hold on. Give me. Well, let's. It wait should a be oregano Seasoning. this time. Seasoning. What's um, that gonna, is there like some sort of like experimentation that happens when you pour salt and pepper into the, the no, sand? No, no. Um, they're his familiars. One's okay. A baby dragon. Uh, one is an imp, and then he might get a new one. But we're just going to keep naming them seasonings. <laughs> These, the yellow reptilian eyes are just like between the two of you because you, you're probably like his, he's like sitting in between the two of you. He's They're very much just like <laughs> like they're windshield wipers. <laughs> what the fuck? I chose the wrong fucking watch, motherfucker. Anyway. <laughs> okay. Uh, sure. 
Yeah, I don't know why you asked uh, for me to, to be your watch partner, because um, <laughs> I'm crazy. To be honest with you, um, it's because you didn't answer my question. I did. He said he didn't know. Yeah, I don't think that's true. Well. I'm not asking you to. I'm not demanding you to tell me more. It's none of my business. But I think it's important to you to know, and I guess for, for, for her to know, that if it was easy for me to know, easy for others to know. I don't need to know any more than that. I just wanted to pull you aside and let you know. That's all. I appreciate that. Um, that will help me work on my poker face. What's poker? Where you want to go with it? Uh, poker is a game um, that you play with cards, and uh, sometimes, like, like no, it's like longer than blackjack, and um, depending on the thing, like one of them's named after this place called Texas, um, and then another one is it's Texas. I don't know. I only know blackjack. Sometimes I've heard of euchre. I've heard of euchre. What's a Texas? Never played it. I don't know what a Texas is. I don't know. It was like this weird word somebody sounds used like one a, day. Yeah. It sounds like a, uh, um, a knot on a rope or something. Texas. <laughs> knot on a rope. Huh. Anyway. Uh, I don't know. Maybe it's a seasoning. Like salt and pepper? Yeah. Salt, pepper, Texas. I am not naming the familiar Texas. Because <laughs> that's, that's a ridiculous I name. Actually, you can he, name he, it. He gets to do me a favor. He actually begins to like massage his temples. <laughs> you guys do me a favor and, and let me know when we're talking about seasoning or, or familiars, whatever the hell that is. I don't mean um, to be rude, but like I'm confused as shit right now. Yeah. Oh. Uh, I'm not entirely sure either of us know what we're talking about either one either. Not really. Um, being confused as hell is like where I idle. Yeah. Oh, I see. And I just cool. don't pay attention to a lot of things. Um, so, you know, I go back and forth. Um, so what do you, um, what is your, uh, per, um, what are you skilled at? Um, I can throw a knife real good. Yeah? Was that and, practiced uh, or natural? Talent. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, talent. Also, shoot. Shoot longbow, pretty pretty sweet. Actually, even better than the than the knife. So that's, you know, awesome. I think. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I can't good, cook as good as uh, your friends here, but um, I'm I'm all right. That's good. The other two don't like to talk much. Boss man over there likes to, as you can tell, yakety fucking yak. But uh, he's good for it. He's got a good heart. You should a lot of you guys, but uh, he kind of he kind of did, and you know, not much to be said after that. Um, you know, yeah, it's it's hard to be the the one in charge. Gosh, you guys, a personal question? Sure, I I can't promise that I give you a. a personal answer sure you just learn the place you're going is something that we're leaving what does that mean to you uh 
I've been there before. I there's reasons for There's reasons for returning. There's reasons for going. They're not. And I don't know. All I know is that we have to. And my my friends said that we have to. And I'm going to go where my friends go. And I'm going to. I'm going to protect them. I'm going to heal them. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to, uh, cast deadly spells and kill the things that try to attack them. Even though I don't want to go back. Good on you. I like one of you, actually like both of you. Will be. Well, you a what? A D8. Uh, eight. Okay. Not eight. I got a five. Got a five? Okay. All right. This conversation continues on about the machinations of what you guys are going to do with the city or at the city. That you guys are, that they're leaving, that you're going to. The watch resolves without issue. Anything else you guys want to do before retiring for the rest of the night? Um, the, uh, ooh, yeah, I guess, um, I'm going to leave this up to you, Jake. Mm. Um, the, the spell took an hour to cast. Yeah. Um, and, um, yeah. Uh, what, what appears? Hmm. Let's see. Let's see. What do I want to do? What do I want to do? Um, <laughs> so... Okay. Um go ahead and roll me a D4. Okay. <laughs> uh two. Two. <laughs> uh -oh. Okay. So you fit you continue to conjure and there <laughs> and there's a loud noise almost like a like someone took like a, 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 a um a not a blowtorch a um uh, like a blow dart so yeah you? exactly yeah. okay and there's a small of sand that pops up and then once it clears there is this small crap that appears they smell and what? The, and the crab. A crab. <laughs> Ward just starts laughing her butt off. Can we name it Lobster? I was going to name it Old Bay to keep with the theme, but... Oh, that works too. You know, Lobster's good too. Um, I need to talk to Dave because this is weird. <laughs> so, <laughs> in the midst of that, that's what you hear, Worth Street. Yeah. But Rilo, you hear a crab has a name already. My name is Gumbo. Fantastic. Happy to be of service. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> oh, golly. Oh, Dave, you are so crazy. Oh, my God. Oh, okay. Um, what did it say? Matter of fact, I actually have a message from him. He says, have fun, man. That sounds like exactly like his voice, too. Oh, my God. Um, oh, the crab has a name, and its name is Gumbo. Don't, don't crabs It's just like shifting. Gumbo? I mean, it's, I don't know, but I thought it was pretty good. I'm, I'm, I'm okay with Gumbo. By the yeah. point, Z is just like laying in the sand, just like. I, I totally feel you, man. Um, I'm, I'm going to go wake up Kriya. You have fun with your crab. Oh, don't wake her up yet. It's only been an hour, you know, like uh, we have longer. <laughs> I thought Jake said that we were done with our watch. Well, well, that was a teleportation back in the past. Uh, <laughs> so we get to hang out with oh, the crab man. for a few hours, and then we can wake up as a creator. Yeah, so, yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. This is cool. Okay. I'm digging it. All right. I'm going to boop the crab and see what it does. It... What's your AC? 17. Did it pinch me? I rolled a natural 20. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Epic. So, so. Did you do the thing where it's like hanging onto my finger? Uh Oh, 100%. Yep. With the big one, pow, uh, you take two points of bludgeoning damage and uh, you just have. Milo! I try and like shake it out into the sand. Oh, um, I mean, I wouldn't do that. Um, but uh, here, I what I'll do is. You're gonna break his grapple if you would like, worse screen. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, um, before it, make an athletic check. <laughs> before they do that, I'm gonna cast cure wounds through the crab. Okay. <laughs> so it's like it's like the it's like the it's like the cat meme where it, it, it bites and then cures. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. That's amazing. Um, okay. I got a 15. So yeah. 15? Yeah. Okay, how do I Oh my god. 17. So it's just no <laughs> just nope. Absolutely um, not. Okay. And, and then, and then, like your, the pitzering pain um, subsides. It got better. This is uh, this is not a great, not a great ride. Not a great ride. I'm gonna like okay. try and pry it off. Like, <laughs> okay, make another one. Seventeen this time. Okay. Eat it. Stupid crab. Yeah, okay. So, <laughs> I like. <laughs> yeah, I like goes flying. <laughs> um, I will say for the sake of brevity that it, it's awesome because so that probably doesn't lose another from the <laughs> immediately. Um, it fortunately falls into like a soft pocket of sand, lands, and it is. You guys to sideways walk over over to Rylo. Um, I mean, we're um, yeah. I'm sorry I pinched you. I had uh, healed it through you or through it to you, so that would be better. Um, you know, but you don't. You shouldn't throw it. You don't want to be crabby like that. I mean, War can't even keep a straight face. <laughs> 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 yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, so, but it's okay. Um, we'll 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 get to um, a loving relationship with our new friend here. I hope, because you know, gumbo sounds delicious. <sighs> We could make gumbo. I don't even know how to do that. I only know slorp, so. I would find out. Well, I'll make a history check. Okay. Uh oh. Here, let me just. Uh, Please tell me that since he got a crab named Gumbo as a familiar, he now has like the recipe. You know, like when in Minecraft when you unlock recipes, like I, he unlocks the gumbo recipe. I got a dirty twenty. I rolled a natural 19. <laughs> no. <laughs> Not only. It's not about the, the recipe you don't know. It's a secret. But you remember that Slorp is not the national pastime of Lobra. Not the capital, at least. It's gumbo. It's chicken, sausage, and shrimp gumbo. But some folks like to add crab to it. Yeah, trying to forget that. You did. Because I'm allergic to shellfish. And he gave you a crab. It's okay. I'm not going to... Basically, he knows I'm not going to try to eat this one. You didn't try any of the other ones. Not yet. I'm joking. I'm joking. I wouldn't try to eat pepper. Salt, maybe. You know, because, I mean, wow. Everything needs a little bit of salt. Right. <clears throat> uh, and with that... <laughs> watch <everything's>... three. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. I'm gonna go wake up you... to Korea. And not even like gently. I'm just gonna like start poking her. Like oh, uh, supported. Oh no, we both have to wake her up because she's a very hard yeah. sleeper. So she her. needs two people. Uh, uh, <laughs> one shake uh, her once poking her like the nose. Yep. Yep. I was yep, expecting 100%. a tackle. <laughs> <laughs> so there, uh, one of the Yanti, um, uh, Zilui, is uh, sitting at the fire. As you come to Zakaria with your compatriots, stirring you violently awake. Um, that's immediately going to incite it produce flame, and since she can hurl it, she's just going to just, uh. Oh, you know what? She's not going to hurl it. Her hair is just going to ignite. Usually she has to like put it in her hands and run it through her hair. No, this time she's just going to like Hades bolt awake, just immediately <laughs> flaming hair. Just what? <laughs> oh, so mine's a little testy. It's your turn to watch. And Rilo doesn't even flinch at that. But he's like... We needed to wake you up, but not the others. So we did the touchy touchy. Shaky, shaky. Pokey, pokey. Pokey, pokey. Um, thank you. Go to bed. Okay. Wow, that's a crab. His name is Gumbo. See a doctor about that. A crab, not crabs, uh, plural. Oh, great. Um, how useful would in a desert? Never mind. Not very. I don't know. <laughs> Your Dave has plans, I suppose. 
Or Dave has jokes. One of the two. <laughs> or both. Usually both. Okay. Go to sleep. Good night. Good night. Rilo collapses right where he's standing. He's <laughs> got <laughs> a long watch. We're just gonna pick him up and bring him back back up to the top of the wagon. Make sure he doesn't roll off. You know he tosses and turns in his sleep. I punched the tour and I didn't fall off, so I think it's okay. You're you. Just there. <laughs> Good night. I'm falling off a wagon tonight. <laughs> <laughs> so, Zakria. Um, you come towards the I assume you don't have to come to it, but you, you you walk up you, you do see that Zului is actually, instead of being kind of where everyone was circled around earlier in the evening, uh, Zului is actually up close and personal um, to the to the, the fire, both tending it and also just like sitting down in the install, right next to it. Yeah, Zakria will go up. Okay. Um, since they're tending it, uh, Zakria is going to figure that it's going to die soon, so she's going to toss another. Uh, produce flame can trip in there just to bring it back to life. Thank you. It's what I do. You are you have talent, yes. Um. Sorry, you could say that. Not quite, quite as good as the others. So, apologies. You 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 can say that. So, um, faith, more like. Okay. Cold? Goes back to kind of sitting in front of a... Oh. Was. No longer. Um. What... What important words do you know in Abyssal? He switches to Abyssal. Oh, I know everything in Abyssal. It's common that I have trouble with. Um, could you teach me to say hello? In Abyssal? Mm-hmm. Well, in common, it sounds like... <laughs> um... <laughs> There you go. You got it. It's a lot like Primordial. They're along the same parallel lines. Interesting. It's like the more uh, fiery parts of Primordial. Mm. Ign primordial, Ignis. more angry. Abyssal more. I understand. Make a reception check. Mm hmm. Ooh. That is. 12. What is this Sylvan? Sound like floaty people. <laughs> no, it's, uh, well, you could say that. Uh, elves are that way. It is. Oh, we know elves. Rude. Don't Not make generalizations. Have. Sorry. All Out people. Of 11, I meet 11, 11, rude. Ah. Uh, Apology. I grew up among them. 
they're different. Everybody's different, though. How would you, general elves? I try not to, but from what I grew up with, very, very harsh, but also very free. Um, as a, as a person growing up with druids, there is a freedom of nature, but there is a restriction of self. You are not one with everyone if you are not one first with nature, if that makes sense. Okay. But Bitch, that's just... Um, but except... They're, they're... They don't much like outsiders. Oh. Makes sense. Makes sense. But you learn. You learn to learn what they know and become accepted. There's always a way. Okay. And like he stands up suddenly. Do you hear? Do you hear that? No. Uh, Zakria wants to try to listen to what they're listening for, but she's also going to call to sleeping Melora to see if uh, Melora can help out with that. She try to coax she awake her lizard. Out. She reaches out and points out to, into the darkness. Make another perception check. Was I able to wake my sleepy lizard to help? Yeah. Okay. Ooh, Ooh much better. better. It's a uh, seventeen plus five. Twenty-two. Yeah, twenty-two. Okay, so you point, and uh, or you watch him point out into the darkness, and um, you, the initially your produce one kind of works against you as like you have this like. <sighs> The, uh, this diameter around you that you can see everything into. So you you can't see anything from where he's pointing at you, other than what you assume is sand. It's not about what you see. It's about what you hear. That sound gets closer, and that's where we'll pick up in two weeks. Dun, dun, dun. What? Ah! Damn it. One question before we end. Did it sound like rumbling? Yeah. If did. it sounded like rumbling, that's just Rilo's tummy. Determine what that looks like next time. I did forget to so, eat dinner. The Kree is awake for it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. Damn. Um. Wow. That was a uh, that was a lot of meat on that bone tonight. Um. Both in game and in backstory, huh? Ooh boy. So. Thank you all for joining us. Um. Episode fifteen right here in two weeks. Uh, before we go, i got to let you know about this fine, ridiculous, amazingly talented cast of characters that we have here. So I'm actually going to start with Maddie this time. 
A what? Oh, hey. Because what you should buy, because, and I'll tell you why. There's actually a reason for this. Because this is how, so a lot of us, Jeremy and I specifically have been bitching at Maddie about the fact that he sucks at plugging his own shit. So I'm going to make this a little bit different this time because we're going to, we're going to plug our shit. Because did you know there's a motherfucking Duval of Dragon merchandise on SoNorworkGoddamn.com? I feel like we haven't talked about that enough. So <laughs> we're going to make sure we, and, and you guys know. So Maddie, take it away. Um, that yeah. I'm your spot. <laughs> No, nah, and um, and it's true. Um, we've got some great stuff in there, and there will be more, obviously. Um, but you can get zip hoodies with the Duval and Dragons uh, logo on it now, and it's nice. It's nice. I just bought like too much of them, and by too much, I mean all. Of them. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, I'm Maddie, and uh, this is this is my channel, and thank you for joining us. Um, I. Oh boy, uh, this week is what would normally be Soul Bear Week, um, but a couple of my Soul Bear games are on hiatus right now. Um, and but we do have um, our Wild Mount game is Tuesday, and this Tuesday is the final one person one shot, and this is introducing my character, um, a. Azamar Tiefling wizard uh, named Shay. Um, I'm really excited about um, starting getting to know more. Uh, so this will be fun. Um, that is six, sorry, uh, 5 p.m. Pacific over at Soul Bear RPG. And then um, the rest of the week, I, I think I'm doing like behind the scenes stuff um helping out a friend who needs who's doing a big charity th you know thing and didn't have enough tech folks so i'm going to be helping out with some of that um i honestly i don't even know what it is or even all the stuff i just know i was asked to help so i'm like okay um and i had the nights off so um, but next Sunday is more Dragonlance, uh, Dragons of Rebirth. And, um, we're having a lot of fun with that. And then, um, right here on this channel, we've got a lot of games coming up. Um, and starting March 12th, which happens to be my birthday. Um, and I'm really excited about, I'm always excited about playing D&D on my birthday. It's just like the best. Um, we are introducing a four part mini series also set in Dragonlance, um, every other Friday, uh, called Dragonlance Death Knights of Kryn. And for anybody, you know, who knows anything about Dragonlance, um, yeah, legit, um, Death Knights of Kryn only means one thing right soft you know i don't know how it's uh, incorporated and i know that we are not going to be fighting soft because we're only fifth level right right i hope anyway yeah we're not gonna fight donut mimics at level five either right donut mimics are nothing donut mimics get all mad about donut mimics whatever i will always be mad about donut <laughs> um but i am actually playing a wizard well a sorcerer but a wizard of the black robes um so that'll be fun um and then uh of course i take commissions for graphic design artwork uh pixel art and all sorts of custom merch all sorts of things so hit my portfolio at so nerdware.com forward slash um maddie no, portfolio. That's it. Portfolio. Right. So nowhere.com forward slash portfolio. Or just go to my link dash tube.com slash so many games for all those things. Ugh. I hate promoting myself. It's gross. Um, we want you to because we want you to be that get food. And that Kickstarter is going very well. We've unlocked more pins we have uh 
unlocked the lesbian pride awesome. pins and the ally pride pins and we're about i think it was 666 us dollars roughly till we get to the pro- <coughs> till we unlock the pronoun pins i'm really excited about that we have nine days left of this kickstarter and um i'm really excited and you know um so you can check that out also um oh i think i do that and yeah there's my link tube and all those links are at the link tube so there you go nice <sighs> well done man. you did a great job <laughs> i love you good job sorry to cut you off no, it's okay no, you're not. jeremy <laughs> Oh, hey, everybody. I am uh, Darth Entry on the interwebs. Um, you can find me on all the social media there. Um, you can find me this Tuesday back on this channel for uh, our next episode of Call of Cthulhu on Call of the Tuesday. Uh, Cthesis Be Praised, where I play a bookseller who's trying to get a book so he can save his bookstore. Uh, you can also. Oh, my catch God, we just got raided. <laughs> oh. Oh, man. <laughs> I better find it. Nice tires. I better find us a good a good rating place. So. Yeah. <laughs> um, you can also catch me okay. over over on Slade's Paradise this Wednesday, three thirty Eastern, with a talented group of people for a Jasper's Game Day charity event. Um, where I'll be playing a game that I know nothing about. Um, but I'm excited because it's talented cast. It's for a good cause. Um, and I get to play with Alexander Ward. That's that's like the money right there. Um, the money. <laughs> you can also catch me most Fridays, but not this Friday because of the Jasper's game day going on, on Slade's Paradise, where I tell an Anarch story for our Vampire the Masquerade 5th edition Anarch game, uh, London's Not Dead at three, uh, 4, 4 p.m. Eastern. Um, and then you can also catch me every Saturday on Slade's Paradise, uh, where I play a vampire, uh, a Hakata, a necromancer, who is going to do lots of things that people are not expecting me to do uh, at 6.30 p.m. Eastern. That's the event I'm helping out. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's You're amazing. helping out with oh, my Maddie. event, Maddie. I didn't know. Oh, Maddie. I, I swear it was just, literally it was just like it, it was Ashley messaging me the other day oh, just like phone. just like hey um we need we need some help with 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 uh running streams and stuff like that and I was like totally I'm I'm there you know whatever you need I I didn't even think to ask I love, you know I love the idea though in my head that just happened <laughs> which was like which was like we need help and like you're actually blindfolded in a chair and you're like yeah of course anything <laughs> <laughs> totally. I'm. Hey, I'm always hey, down the thing. I'm right there. D- same. So I totally get it. Jeremy, thank you. Jake, you're a part much. of the event. Shh. I was gonna. I was, <laughs> let me get there. <laughs> let me have my jump. <laughs> you might as well be there now. I am. <laughs> well, but I can't because it's not my turn. Jess. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, this chaos today. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. I'm sleeping. We're a bunch of cats. Right. Yes, Yo. hurting cats. Uh, hi, no. guys. Uh, gals no. and non-binary pals, it's Jess, a.k.a. Freckle Sketches, everywhere. Twitter, Instagram, mostly. Um, you can find me here every other Sundays, um, playing the delightful, uh, the lovely Desacria. Or you can find me literally kind of bouncing around everywhere on every stream. I play, I'll, I'll play anything, honestly. Um, you can mostly find me on Twitter, boost, uh, boosting my, my good buddies. Uh, or you can find me on Instagram where I do fantasy cartography. Um, uh, yeah, that's about it for me. Nice. Chris. Hey, everybody. Uh, you can, I'm um, just doing my thing up here in the Badlands. Um, I put my links in the chat. You can find me at badlandsdnd.com or at Chris N on Twitter, uh, signal boosting everything I can and just doing the good things for all the good peoples. So sharing the love. Doing, doing the good work. Doing the doing good work. Trying to. <laughs> Hell yeah. Hell yeah. So Fenway. 
Hi, uh, I'm Van Ray Jones, also known as Sony 15 DM on Twitter, and Jess with Game Day on all of the social medias. Uh, kind of giving all of the information on the events that uh, Maddie and um, Jeremy have been t- uh, talking about, <laughs> although Maddie didn't know he was talking about it. Um, we have a, <laughs> we have an event coming up um, this Wednesday through Sunday. Uh, over on Slade's Paradise, which is twitch.tv backslash Slade's Paradise. Um, <clears throat> and uh, we go from 12 noon to 1.30 a.m. Eastern with uh, four di- different uh, games each day. So you should definitely come check it out. We actually have D&D as a mi- minority this time. Um, we have games like Vampire. We have a Ghostbusters game. Um and there's yeah there's a lot of different a lot of different games going on um for this and i am super excited um and i'm not running one which is weird so you know it is weird yeah i was i filled up the Me schedule either. also weird <laughs> i filled up the schedule and i was like i'm not running an adventure That's <laughs> <laughs> i forgot about myself <laughs> um anyway that's me you should definitely go check out jasper's game day youtube because i have a show on there that's a lot of fun um yeah awesome so hey everybody jacob here duval king jacob on the internet um drop my link tree in the chat go check that out a bunch of different things that i'm up to um so uh the next two weeks are going to be particularly ridiculous as always so um so Tuesday is, uh, as I'm a co-founder for um, a new company called The Epitheater, um, and our Pose of Prometheus game, uh, D&D 5e um, campaign, is being run there, 9.30 p.m. Eastern time. Um, so check that out. It's going to be a good time. It's absolutely wild. I'm speaking of wild, Wednesdays at 9 o'clock p.m. Eastern time, twitch.tv slash Saverick, um, Blades in the Dark, Ash Syndicate. It is a monumental game maybe my favorite role-playing like I've ever been a part of. It is dark. It is absolutely mysteriously ridiculous. And um, I have no idea what's going to happen because I'm pretty confident that the family is about to come apart at the seams. And I might be the reason. So this is going to be a good time. Uh, Thursday, uh, as has been hinted at, for Jasper's game day at like 12-ish or 1-ish or something in the, in the afternoon, um, I am me, I'm going to fight Nightbot because after Jasper's game day last time on Slay's Paradise, I decided in the middle of a game to, to uh, because I, as you all know, uh, caps lock a lot, and Nightbot decided to say, fuck your caps, Jacob. And so I decided to roll initiative in chat, and that became... Um, a the machination of a game that we're going to be playing. So now I'm an old war war hero that, is, that just that survived banishing Nightbot into oblivion, and now it's coming back to come and kill us. So um, it's going to be a good time. Uh, so that's Thursday, I think. Yes. Um, something happening Friday? I don't know. Something it, else is happening. It, oh, yeah. What's up? I was just say it's Thursday, 12 p.m. to 3 p.m. Eastern. That's what it is. Um, so there you go. Um, and then the agency is happening um, next, not this month, not tomorrow, this next Monday, back over here, um, which is amazing Quest RPG. You guys check that out as well. And also, I think, because I haven't really talked about it enough or at all, is I'm actually running a game at GaryCon. Um, and I'm really, 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 really excited about um, if you are a fan of moi and um, I'm actually running um, a game that I ran, or a one shot, I should say, that I wrote for Third Raiders um, called 2300 AD, The Endless Hunger. It takes place in Duval and Dragons. Oh. Um, it is the far, far bad ending future. Um, Maddie remembers because Maddie was playing in that game. And I thought, I haven't run that in now almost two years, so um, I'm going to go ahead and bring it back. Uh, so more details to come on uh, so find me on Twitter and uh, so I have no idea how that's going to go. I got my pass. I forgot what time I'm playing, uh, but I'll let everybody know. So enough of that. Uh, lastly, I will just remind you, just in case you forgot, that Black Lives Matter and trans rights are human rights, and you are not a nat one. You are not a critical failure, as Fenway likes to remind us right here all the time, just in case you forgot, because you rock 
Thank you for being here. Maddie, take us away. And um, I think, um, so we got some friends over at Featherfall Tabletop um, playing some D&D right now. We're going to go raid them. Um, and uh, with that said, always remember, folks, free the fucks. Free the fucks. Okay? Just but free the fucks the and Jeremy all the butts. The butts what was it? No, you. it was Chris. It was me. Yeah, it was Chris. Chris. Was it Chris? It was Chris. It was Chris. Right. And that shirt is in the shop. Free the fucks and all the butts. That's right. All the butts. In the Chatty yeah. Fam. <laughs> Chatty Fam uh, merch shop. There we go. Okay, we're gone. Stop shit. <laughs>